I don't care. Oh, it's one nil. Put me down. Thirteenth in the championship. The takeover happened, as I said it would. People will be. Oh, when when have we got leads? Now then, people, welcome back to the Just Your Football Show, and it's time for your Plymouth versus Leicester City Friday night. Watch along, of course. Fingers crossed for the Green Green Army. We need a Plymouth win, of course. Sorry for being late. I was, uh, yeah, I was busy. <laughs> but uh, I'm here now, and that's all that matters. Please do make sure you smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, get your comments in, and, of course, hit that notification bell. And, uh, yeah, tonight, straight after this as well, uh, I'll be getting together with our main man, everybody's favourite Welshman, Mr Lachlan Locks, to discuss. We're going to be doing a bit of a post-match for Leicester City and obviously a little bit of a Joyce Hyper, someone said. I'm Hyper Dr Cox. Yeah, I've had a good day, man. I've had a very, very good day. So, reasons to be positive. Um, I'm a happy man. Big Joe, hope you're well, bro. I'm very good, Daryl. I hope you are well, too. I'm meeting a Twix. Meeting a Twix. Um, I'm ready for a Plymouth win. Um, and yeah, that's it. Narrow pitch could make it hard for Leicester. Maybe Jeremiah Roday. Maybe. We shall see. Kaiser Soze. Great film, by the way. If that's Unless you actually call Kaiser Soze, at which point I say great name. But it it's from a film, I believe. Daryl says it must be love. <laughs> Someone says you, you look a bit flush. Well, you just never know, bro. You never know. Um, horse in a council flat says, hi, Joe, you are the best. I, 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 thank you. I feel it. Twix, yeah. Do you not like a Twix, Duke? Do you not know what one is? Where are you from, bro? Do you not know what a Twix is? That's a Twix. Caramel, biscuit, chocolate. Um, you never see an old man eating a Twix. Oh, because of the teeth. That's what you're saying. Um, right, okay. Please make sure you smash a like on the video for me. Subscribe to the channel, get your comments, and of course, hit the notification bell. Wizardry says, so Joe, you're going to buy a ferret. Yeah. Um, if you don't take off the chocolate and the caramel first, you're not a true Twix eater. I feel like I am, but I don't. Oh, Carl Pilkington quote, fair. Tonight's sponsor, Twix. I wish, bro. I wish. I wish I had that cash. What's Wanderlust saying? Let's have a look. Joe, did you see the ref? Oh, he got promoted to the Premier League. Mental, isn't it? Isn't it mental? Absolutely mental. Great point by Stevie. Pilgrim fan tonight. Stuart Dallas likes green as well. Get in Plymouth tonight. Yeah, let's do it. Um, Right, okay. What I am going to do... Let's remove this so we can see the lineups a little bit clearer. Clearer. Um, I'm going to remind you all that today's show is sponsored by the amazing, the fantastic football prizes. Scrub is a guy that can get no love from me. Hanging on the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Um, right. So, football prizes. Did any did any years ever go on the private jet? By the way, because it expired and only f fourteen thousand tickets were sold of a potential fifty thousand, so you'll have a bigger chance of winning. Let's see what other prizes there are. Let me turn the TV down so you can't hear it. Um, no Leeds United prize this week. Um, oh, there's another private jet one though. No, there isn't. Yeah, there is. Okay. Here's a banger for you. In the mix. So. Early bird price. 65p, people. 65p. Yeah? 65. So. Mega cash competition win. Over 12,000 tax-free cash. 12 grand plus two sites, seats, sorry, on the football prizes private jet, including over 200 instant wins. 
some of them instant wins can include 100 quid cash, 50 quid cash. You know, it, it, the private jet's the one, though. It's like um, an index Saturday night takeaway, innit, where you all go to somewhere and you all get on the jet. You're going to be getting on the football prizes jet. You're going to win two tickets to in England versus Slovenia, accommodation in Cologne, and two seats on the football prizes jet. To be honest, you should be offering Like, Bill, you should be coming to me and saying, do you want one of these free prizes? You, you know, do you want to get on the jet? It, sh it should be offering me a place on this jet. I can't lie to you. I can't lie. Anyway, that was a Twix crumb. Uh, smash a like on the video. Get your comments in. Um, hit the notification bell. And all that and all that jazz. Maybe Dev, maybe Dev. I didn't see the press, press of me. I was out all day. I've been out with my partner walking the dogs and, yeah, eating fo food, fodder. And then uh, I made a chips and gravy. <laughs> Northern boys love gravy. Lucky girl. Lucky girl. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, get on the jet. On the jet. I'm gonna take you for a ride on a big jet plane. Yes, Wednesday week. Big up to you, my main man, Ash. Actually, folks, this is news for you as well. We have decided as a group, not all of you watch it, but it's starting to get regular viewership. We have decided that... White Rose Rivals will continue next season regardless, okay? Regardless of what division we're in, we're going to continue with it. We enjoy doing it. We're going to stream it across their podcasts as well. You can stream it up to four different locations, so it won't just be exclusive to me. Might mean as well, I might not have to host it one week. Someone else can host it, perhaps. But basically, what we're going to be doing is they're going to be the same edge. We'll get a Blade in. We'll get a Barnsley fan in. I think you can have six max. We have how many at the minute? Five? Me, Ash... Tom or Ann. Yeah, five. So uh, maybe. I think six, maybe maximum. Then we could just switch it round. We can really switch it round. So um, the the um, the um, the White Rose Rivals will continue is the main point. Yeah? Um, yeah, there you go. Yeah, exactly, Stevie. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of people that do enjoy them. Um, so, yeah... Uh, Great, great to know. And it's started to get steady viewership now as well. Same heads and it's it's doing well. It takes a while though, don't it like anything, but the more people see it. Yeah. Gary says, great news. I love White Rose Rivals. It's the best. That's what I mean. So uh Cossie hosting, I mean maybe not, because um he'd just dip before one he ash. Can you imagine? He wouldn't even say bye to us and we'd all be sat there and he'd have fucked off. <laughs> Yes, James, great content, bro. Yeah, thank you for that. means a lot, bro. So, yeah, that'll be good. Um, yeah, exactly, these leads. We can keep up with the championship. We can even keep up with League One. Uh, Chris Re Richmond, member for 11 months. Bamford will cost us top two. You've wasted your membership because you know who's scoring tomorrow, don't you? Da, 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 da. Patrick Bamford. He did the double against Blackburn the last time we faced him in the league. He scored against them at Ewood Park. He's going to score against them tomorrow. And Leeds are probably going to win that game three. We're going to score at least three. Uh, Helen Walker says, All Plymouth, aren't we? Member for 25 months. That's what you keep it for. That's what you keep your membership for, Chris Richmond. Um, how are you getting locks on if he's in the championship, though, Joe? What do you mean? I'm confused. Locks isn't on White Rose Rivals, bro. Locks is, um, Locks is, oh, you mean if, yeah, okay, I see what you're doing. Locks is coming on after this, though. I need to set up a stream. Um, I need to s set up a stream. Um, Um, I need to. I'm just going to set up a stream, folks. If you hear me tapping away for after this, um, um, hey mate, can you create a post match reaction and include this picture of Lux? Uh, 
Well, evening, Richo. Big up Leeds Lad TV. I'm doing good. Who doesn't score tomorrow? Who doesn't score? What do you mean? Do you have anything lined up? I mean, different contents as we are Leeds. Listen, the Premier League's going to open up a whole new, um, a whole new avenue for me in it. You know, I'm, I'm. It's the Just Your Football Show for a reason. We've started to already branch out into different content. It's going to open up. You know. I want to I want to have more debate shows around certain topics um, about other clubs as well. I go on a few and speak about Premier League clubs, so I'd love to be able to do that on this channel because live streams do really well on my channel and I enjoy doing them. So being able to speak to other Premier League content creators is is what I want to wanted to do. Um, yeah, JB Jackson, you know me. I'm always thinking. I am genuinely always thinking of things that I can I can, I can do. Um, than just keeping it the same old, same old and different. That's why I like to get different heads on and all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, we, we like to we like to freshen it up. Um, um if Leicester at half time, will you drop off? Maybe Helen, maybe Helen, but no, because I'm more relaxed about it. I think that Ipswich game, did we did we draw or something? I can't remember. It was bad at the time. Um, Lee's Leeds, um, if Southampton win both games and on the right, nah, they're not. Like, don't be worried, Lee's Leeds. Please do not be worried. Um, please do not be worried. Um, I wouldn't be. They're not getting there. Uh, which reminds me, I'm gonna I'm gonna share something with you in a sec, actually, to just to 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 show you the probabilities in terms of promotion in the automatic spots. Um, I don't even know about that, Ian. So that'd be great. I don't even know what have they done. Uh, explain to me. I genuinely don't know. I'm not being facetious or all. I genuinely don't know what you refer to. So should I should know clearly because the Yorkshire. What's that you've got there? Sorry, it's the dog chewing his toy. Um. Right, it's something I just wanted to sort. I'm just sorting out a thumbnail for the stream that me and Locks are going to do later on. Um, just one second. It depends on the result in it, but I'm just going to have to preempt it. Going to take you for a ride on a big jet plane. Um, going to take you on a ride on a big jet plane. There we go, that should be fine. I'll be able to sort that later on. F put that post match up after this. It'd be great to have locks on and get his thoughts after the game. Secretly, I'm hoping they lose or drop points, of course, but we'll there. Um and then tomorrow we're locked in from early, folks. As you know, we do love um, we do love to have um, busy watch along days, which will obviously be even better when we get the Premier League and all that sort of stuff. But tomorrow we'll be on from early eleven thirty. Um, will be Leeds versus Blackburn. There'll be no um, there will be no live post match reaction until five o'clock because what we'll do is we'll do Leeds versus Blackburn. Then we'll jump straight on over to Ipswich versus Borough, which kicks off at three. Then when Ipswich versus Borough finishes at three, at five, sorry, we'll then do our live post-match reaction at that point. Um, yeah. Right, so, sorry, I'm just making sure I've got everything sorted. How far are we away from kickoff? Let's have a look at the time. Man. We're nine minutes away. We are nine minutes away. Um,
Right, okay, what was I going to do? Yeah, that's what I was going to do. I wanted to show you something. The chat's pretty even as well, by the way. Plymouth versus Leicester tonight. 31% have got Plymouth for the win. 34% have got draw, and 34% have got Leicester win. I do think, personally, it'll be a draw. I think it'll be a tough evening for Leicester, I can't lie. Especially if they don't score in the first half. Could be long. Yeah, Loxy's, uh, Loxy's on straight after this as well. Grand National tomorrow as well at four. That's a great shout as well. Um... We can uh, we can watch that together as well. I'll need to put my runners and my riders on. Um, right, this is what I wanted to show you. We will get there eventually. I'm just uh, Ian Evans has gone draw. Yeah, um, I think they'll draw. I think they'll draw. In all honesty, um, let's hope that proves to be the case. Gonna take you for a ride on a big jet plane. Um, I'm just having a look to see if there's any, uh, any, uh, any builders on, any builder bets on, like, worth putting on for Leicester versus Plymouth. Let's have a look, just before I show you what I wanted to show you about the probabilities, shall we have a look? Um, I'm gonna take you for a ride on a big jet plane. Um, let's have a look, see what's worth it, eh? Bet builder will have, um... Shots on target for Leicester. We'll go Keenan Dewsbury Al. Um, what else? Gonna take you for a ride on a big jet plane. Uh, Bally Mumbe. Um, gonna take you for a ride on a big jet plane. Have they got play to commit fouls? No. Um, should we go for cards? Both teams over zero. Um, what's that? Both teams combine over seven. We got froze. Sorry, I'm just having a look. Um, yeah, it's not worth. It's not worth. It's not worth tickling the old pickle that. Nah, you're all right. We'll leave that alone for tonight. Right, so let's have a look at what I wanted to show you. Um, basically, it is Opta. Opta do championship predictions. They are just getting ready to come out, but I wanted to show this with you. They do this, obviously, based on, um, like, probabilities on results, teams left to play, etc. right? So, uh, 12th of April... Mentioned the midweek fixtures. Leeds gained a point on the Foxes, but also saw the promotion hopes dip to 59.3%. So basically, this is how it looks right now. So on the 8th of April, this is how Opta have predicted it. Um, I, I haven't, Steve. Do I need to? Is it over now, mate? Is it on the? Uh, is it on where we need it to be, bro? Um, let me just give it a... I'll make sure it's updated and then uh, hopefully it'll be on there so you can see here from opta this is based on automatic promotion okay so on the 8th of april Leeds united had a 60 percent chance uh, according to opta of promotion um obviously after the after the midweek games on the 12th that's now dropped to 59.3 so we've lost 1.6 percent chance ipswich have gained 2.5 obviously um but you can still see according to opta stats and, and data and teams left to play, etc. The Leeds United still are favourites or one of the favourites for automatic promotion alongside Leicester. So let's hope that um yeah, it's still not on mine. Um it's still not on mine, uh, Steve. It's, it's not updated, bro. Um unless it's on a it's on a different sky glass. Um I'll I'll check the other one and see if it's there. Um yeah, so so uh, Opta is rubbish. I, I, I mean, I disagree, Martin, but yeah. Um, so you can see here, so this is predicted final league position as well. So Leicester have a 65% chance of first, uh, Ipswich 14, us 20.01, uh, and vice versa. So according to Opta, we are still, um, you know, favourites alongside Leicester to, to get promoted. So uh, let's hope... That proves to be the case. 
Uh, what's Wale saying? Leeds won't get promotion. They'll get almost bankrupt selling players. Well, we won't get bankrupt if we sell players, will we? So if you're going to say something stupid, at least make it make sense. Uh, Man United for life. Big up to the Super Chat. Always supporting the channel, mate. Big up to you. Um, yeah, how does that make sense? You're going to get bankrupt from selling players. Speak wa whale or Wale, whatever you like. Um, I think you're chatting bubbles, my mate. So maybe go back to school. Do some work. Anyway, big up uh, to Dawn. Love to see you in the chat. She said I stepped away from it all yesterday to have a football free Wednesday a day late. Back on it today. Blue is your colour. I know, right? You said before, big up. Not the teal, just blue. Blue is the colour. What about Chef Wednesday FC? Um, oh, yeah, we could have a look at that, actually. Let me have a look in terms of promotion. Um, uh, relegation, sorry. Oh, sorry, this is... It goes, so it's only up to 12. It's not showing as relegation. Um, I'll tell you what it does say, though. You have... Here, look, wait there. I'll share it for you now, Ash. So, what's it say? So, so you're there, uh, and it says you have... So, here's the bottom four. 26... Well, that's bullshit, isn't it? That don't look great, is it? You've got a 26% 20, chance of finishing bottom. Rotherham should be 90%. Um, oh, you're not there. You're there. Sorry. Wrong one. Um, so for Chef Wednesday to be out of the drop zone, you've got a 9.5% chance. So Huddersfield have a 14.2. Is that right? Am I on the right? No, sorry. I'm wrong because they've. That, that's... That's rather my hundred percent. Sorry, yeah. Um, so twenty fourth is gone. Um, ch 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 where are you? There you are. So you got fourteen percent chance of getting twentieth. No, honestly, my head's hurting. I'll stop. You can read it yourself. I, 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 I <laughs> Great. Well done, Joe. <laughs> um, yeah, Stevie, I don't know what's going on with that, bro. It doesn't seem to be working at my my end. Um, what, which ones? Yeah, my frequency is not working. I don't have. Uh, hang on, let's have a look. Gonna take you for a ride on a big. Boys, pack it in. Whatever you're doing, turn it in. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it, I'm on it. Um, Easy 100% champ, yeah, 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 exactly, man. I hear you, I hear you. I hope you do anyway, bro, I can't even lie. Um, It's mad how you get, like, a fondness for a club when you've, like, sports someone on a regular basis about it. Do you see what I'm saying? Ah, right, okay. Uh, yeah, I've got it on the Sky, I've got it on Sky, just not on Leicester. Um, sorry, I'm just talking to Steve. Who's hooked me up with the box? But I'll get it on. I'll get it on Skyglass on Sky. We might just be slightly behind. Uh, Lox has sent me his uh, prediction, folks. Uh, Lox has sent me the prediction of a three-one loss. So he thinks that um, that Leicester are going to be <laughs> get get beat three-one. <laughs> um, I don't think that'll be the case, but um, we'll see. Anyway, we're getting ready for kickoff. They're all out on the pitch. We will be slightly behind, as you know. Um, just something we have to deal with, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, locks. <laughs> people in the chat saying, I'll take that. I'll, I'll take that as well. Barnsley, Red and White Army says 5 0 to City. Nah, Plymouth are going to get a draw, mate. I think one all. It'd be really nice if that did turn out to be the case don't forget as well folks please do smash a like on the video subscribe to the channel uh, and of course uh, hit that notification bell um um Sorry, I'm trying to sort out my... Um, anyway, we're underway. I'm just trying to sort out my... Um, my uh, post-match reaction with Locks for later on. Here's Mavadidi. Terrible touch. Takes it straight out of play. Love to see it. 
Um, Sorry, there we go. Plenty of fans uh, deserve to stay up. Well supported club, yeah. JB to come in second half and get the winner. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed he's not started. Uh, to be honest, he's not injured, is he? He's not in the. Uh, he's not. In, he's not like injured or out for the season or anything like that. Uh, let's have a look at the lineups. One second, I'll tell you. Um, yeah, he's not on the bench. I think he might be injured. You know. I think he. I think he's. I think he's. Yeah, I thought that Graham. He turned right. He turned. How did I not know this? Because I put him on my thumbnail. Like obviously, when I got them done last night, my head was, my head was up my ass. It was. I was tired. So that's where. Yeah. Come on then, Plymouth. Anyway, it's a throw in for Plymouth. Outfit rest at season, yeah, thought thought so. Such a shame, any such a shame. I mean, how did I, I did know this? This is what I mean, but I still put him on the thumbnail like idiota, idiota. Don't forget to smash those likes, though, folks. We've got uh, 191. We've got over 500 people. So if you haven't already, smash a like on the video for me. Upfield now to Hardy, Hardy out wide. Come on then, Bally Mumba. Look for Whitaker, son. James Justin gets across, though. Decent defending in the end. And uh, Mavadidi is going to come away with the ball. Mavadidi, Mavadidi. Da -da 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 -da. Adam Forshaw's playing, though. Big Forsh. There he is. Go on, Forshaw! We know Forshaw can, uh, can um, look after the ball. Uh, Get Joe to 30, someone will get a free international visual radio box for free. Free of charge, there you go. I think I'm going to try and do... Someone, I think it was Dr. Cox mentioned the other day about doing um, um, a giveaway. I'm going to try and get something, to be honest. I am going to try and get something to do, like uh, do a giveaway. I'm just, if I do go quiet, folks, sorry, you know what I'm like, I, I, I try not to be as quiet as, because it's painful watching someone be quiet. I'm just going to set up uh, the stream with locks after. Uh, ball down the line for Hardy to chase, it's gone out, it'll be a cool goal kick. Um... Yeah, Plymouth, Plymouth. Let's have a look at that, actually. They mentioned about Plymouth's home ground, home park there being a bit of a s fortress. I do just want to have a look at the standings, uh, home form. Um, Plymouth are 15th in the league, eight wins, five draws, eight losses. It's not too bad, is it? Although when you look at the most recent form, they drew against QPR, lost to Bristol City, lost to Preston, lost to Ipswich and lost to West Brom. So any team in, in and around the top six, they've not been great against at home, especially recently. So maybe that might be the uh, the same today. Chance, Fatawu, cross, good save. Good save, keeper. Uh, Michael Cooper in goal, palms it away. Well, Plymouth are out of the traps quick, or are Leicester a little downbeaten? No, Leicester have just had a chance there, Amy. Uh, I, I mean, I... <laughs> 
Fatou's delivery, look at that. He's actually gone for a delivery. You, you can see with the way he's looking, and he's ended up slicing it into fecking keeper's hands. I genuinely don't rate Mavadidi and Fatou. I don't. I can't lie. They're not... They won't do it in the Prem. Or am I being asked just because it's Leicester? Maybe. Maybe I am, but I don't know. Maybe I'm being overly harsh. Um, just because it's them. I don't know. We'll wait and see. They'll probably end up smashing it now and I'll look like it. But well, it is what it is. I get clipped up anyway, but that's part of the game, innit? I normally get clipped... The funniest thing is, right, I get clipped up by Leicester fans and put on social media and that, and things get taken out of context for clicks. And people go, oh, is this, is that? And it's like, but you're watching. I know for a fact there's Leicester fans watching this now. I see you. Even though I can't see you, I know you're there. Don't worry about it. Um, Russell Stubbly says, none of the teams going up do anything in the Prem. And Fatou goes back to sporting. Well, I'll call BS on that, Russell. And I'll tell you for why. Because Cree Somerville and Willie Nonto have already done it in the Prem. Somerville, Somerville has goals, winning goals against Liverpool at Anfield. Willie Nonto has goals against Manchester United and, and teams of that ilk. They've already done it. They've been there, done it. They've wore the T-shirt, bro. So I disagree. There you go. That's my... That is my Amari Miller, I don't know where he's gone, bro. I don't know where he's gone. Somerville will be off. If Leeds get promoted, he won't. No, he won't. If we don't get promoted, he will. Not if we get promoted. 100%. Uh, he has a chance for Leicester. Keenan Dewsbury Hall. He's got Fatu out wide. It's to Daka. Daka scored. Oh, flags up. Flags up. No goal. Early goal there, but offside. Liverpool want him, you know. Nah. He won't go, bro, honestly. I'll tell you, Russell. And he doesn't play for Liverpool, mate. Who does Somerville play for? Uh, who... Somerville doesn't start at Liverpool. Liverpool have a, a new manager coming in and everything, so I don't know. That's cap. That's bullshit. Definitely. That's bullshit. Offside for, for Leicester. Uh, Callum says this has 5-0 all over it. I hope, I hope you're wrong. We want to keep it interesting, don't we? Definitely. North Face Mules or Yeezy Slides giveaway, Joe, for 30k. <laughs> I don't have no Yeezy Slides, bro. I wish I did. I wish I did. Um, 10 o'clock will be post-match reaction with Ox, won't it? Let me just do this. Winks, nice little run from DP. He's got Mavadidi ahead of him. Touch back there to James Justin. Justin then gives it to Ricardo Pereira. 1-2 with Ndidi. Deserved a goal. Deserved a goal. Well well worked, that. 1-2. Fatawu cuts in. Oh, I tell you what. He's crossed it to the back post. Mavadidi sent it back across. And uh, I think it's Michael Cooper, the goalkeeper, palms it into an area where Plymouth can clear. But that that's great football from Leicester, to be fair. Fatawu, his delivery is shite. He's actually aimed for that. I just thought there was no point in sending it way back because the angle was too tight. Now, I'm being too harsh there. Um, it was a decent knockover. Um, just creating that live stream for after this, folks. Here's Hermanson into Wout Face. Yeah, Leicester definitely on top. Last couple of minutes. Great ball. Dewsbury Hall almost gets in behind. Probably pulls him down, but he manages to get it back to the keeper anyhow. And uh, it's cleared by Cooper the keeper. Cooper the keeper. Tommy Cooper, yeah. Ricardo Pereira. Uh, Leicester keeping possession of the football. And Diddy's gone down the wing to Fatawu. But is he on side? He is. And he's got round... Oh, what a challenge, actually. Miller, great challenge by Miller. 
Really good. Um, sorry, if I'm just going quiet, I'm just setting up my stream, folks. Mavadidi cuts in. Fatawu. And Diddy. Leicester well on top here. Ricardo Pereira pops it back up. Dodgy keeping. Not dodgy keeping. Dodgy defending by Bally Mumba, but he manage, manages to get it through. You support me. I love that. I speak well. I like that. Oh, Wale. I prefer Wale because of the rapper Wale. Wale. Um. Oh, I'm the goat. I'm the goat. I didn't know I said that. I know I said it. Lil Weezy. Sorry, I had a little bit of a ADHD little uh, moment there. What's happening with Darko JB? He's gone. He's gone back to Leeds. He's injured, my man. Jewsbury Hall out wide to Mavid DD. Leicester well on top, by the way. It's only a matter of time. Plymouth. I thought they might get a draw, but they even look like they can be carved open at will, in all honesty. So, Plymouth, um, it looks like it could be a long night for them. Wout Fest from deep, but that's good defending in the end. And it goes uh, Galloway, good defending. But Ricardo Pereira, you can see his touch map here on Sky. He's everywhere. Dogs just farted. It absolutely reeks. Dutty dog. Harry Winks has done well to find Dewsbury Hall. Dewsbury Hall out wide to Mavadidi. Dakar and uh, Ricardo Pereira joining the chat as well. Here's Dewsbury Hall back to... Ooh, I tell you what, Mavadidi with a lovely strike. I thought he had for not found the corner, but just wide. Look, Plymouth. They're not at the races, man. This is going to be a long night for the Argylians. <laughs> for the Pilgrims. For the Green Army. It is going to be long, and it's going to be long for us. Uh, yeah, all good. Rick Sanchez, big up to you. Um, will be a cricket score. Nah, man, you've got to take your opportunities. We know we've been here. We um, many times have battered teams and not, so they've got to take their opportunities. But I hear you. Um, you know, they're well on top, has to be said. Ain't no uh, hiding from that fact. Here is James Justin. Good defending by Galloway. Again, keeper comes out, collects it. Well done. Um, with the squad far cars, he's massive. How can you say that? How? Look, man, you have to be realistic. This is just one of them Twitter wild statements, and I'll tell you for why. If you watched the press conference earlier on, Daniel Farker has broke the record for most points at home in a single season for Leeds United. That's not underperforming. Daniel Farker has lost one game this calendar year. That's not underperforming. Daniel Farker has the best defensive record in this division this calendar year. That's not underperforming. When people make these wild statements, it's just bullshit. I'm sorry. I know you support Joe, but what you're saying is just bullshit. You know? Because you don't get all these records if you're underperforming. It's mad. It is mad, honestly. Manager of the month three times, exactly, like underperforming. I don't I don't know how many times it's been won, but Bielsa won it twice, I think, in across two seasons. He's won it three times this season. Underperforming. It's wild. Best defence in the league, underperforming, Stevie. But apart No, but no, you can't do that. Let's not do that, right? So you've gone from, 
He's underperforming. Then when I give you all the stats and figures, you've gone, well, he won't keep you up anyway. That's not an argument. We haven't done that. We haven't even done that. So, come on now. Re yeah, exactly. Underperforming. Um, okay, Ash. My point, what I will say, understandably, I'll be disappointed, but he still had a good season. And the reason I say that is because you have to put it in context. Any other season, we dick this league. Last season, we dick this league. The season before, we dick this league. It's just our luck that we find ourselves in a division where we've got, for large parts of the season, four teams smashing it. Now three teams in the race, but, you know, we're all dropping the ball. But chance, Plymouth, well blocked by Fatou, and it'll be a goal kick, I think, or a throw-in. So, yeah, um, I hear what you're saying, but but f for me, it still wouldn't be un an underperforming season if we didn't go up. It'd be disappointing, but, yeah, we'd go again. And he won't get the sack, you know. There'll be le some Leeds fans, but uh, context is just another word. No, it's not, though, is it, Sophie? It's not, though. Or Sophie or and Noah, which I believe is your son and daughter, but it's not, though. There has to be context. You So what if, let's say, let's say, argument's sake, three teams, right, three teams all won every single game, right? And let's say three teams all end up on the same points, right? Let's just, just hypothetically... Three teams all up on end upon the same point, same goal difference, and it goes down to their heads, head to head. Um, you saying, "Oh, this context, that's context." Okay, that's a bit, that's a wild one, but you know, the context isn't a word for excuses, not at all, not at all. Brendan Aronson was con considered a good footballer. Context: He was playing in a farmers' league. Do you see what I'm saying? That's how I would say it. Yeah, you finish above 90 points, you deserve to go up just this year. Three teams have been standouts. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. This is the context for me. Anyway, Woutfest has to go back to his keeper, Hermanson. Hermanson goes back to Woutfest. Um, let me, um, someone else has just put something um, that I really liked. Um, there you go. The season we went up, we had 93 points. West Brom had 83. We would have already been up in the BLs a season. Exactly. So I don't think it's underperforming at all, especially when you consider how we started, how we started in the month we had and all that sort of stuff. Um, <laughs> Juki says, he can't be underperforming if he's got us in the top three with Bamford up top. <laughs> Uh, James says it's shocking leads are reduced to supporting Plymouth. I don't think it is shocking though, is it? It's not. Why 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 wouldn't why, why wouldn't you want your rivals to lose regardless? Ipswich only team overachieving. Mavadidi back post. Oh, it's headed out by Bally Mumba. Chance for Ryan Hardy to chase. James Justin keeps it in. Um There is this as well that you have to um Thing. I can't find it, but it basically said he's breaking records that BLs are set and he doesn't get any of the credit for doing so. And you're right, and I just can't find it now, but it's a great comment and a great point. And manager of the year potentially, yeah. But I think that'll go to uh that'll go to um Kieran McKenna regardless. Grace says, Hey Joe Tractor Boy, we've got a two week break after tomorrow. Three points, please, town against Middlesbrough. Three week break a two week break, Grey, yeah. But you then also have to play like twice before we play again, don't you? Um So there is that as well. Um to to take in. Uh, how's game been? It's been all Leicester, really. Um it's been all it's all Leicester, mate. Free kick given, though? No, not given. Apparently, uh, Ryan Hardy is a judge to have fouled Vestergaard, so it'll be a, a free kick. Um, so um, I think it's going to go to Leicester. Let's have a look. Hardy chasing. Nah, I'm not too sure on that, man. Anyway, Jewsby Hall goes to Mavadidi. Mavadidi's beaten. Ballymumba chance. Jewsby Hall. Strike. Blocked. Forshaw. Go on, Forsh. 
Go on, Fosh! Go on, Fosh! Chance here. Adam Forshaw with the ball into Ballymumba. Ballymumba! It's 1-0! What were we saying? If you don't take your chances in this game, you are done! And Ballymumba first strike, and you know who gets the assist? Adam Forshaw! Big up Adam Forshaw! They've been under the cosh and Plymouth have gone up the other end and scored. Get in! <laughs> My man Adam Forshaw! Get in Adam Forshaw, you absolute beauty! Oh, I love that from Adam! How's the chat? What's everyone saying? Great strike, by the way. Cuts in. Both. Love it. Pick it out. He's, cut, he's cutting, cutting from the left. Finds the corner. Easy as you like. No chance for the goalkeeper. Love it. Get in, Adam Forshaw, you dancer. Get in, man. How's, how's the temperature, folks? Don't forget to smash a like on the video. That means... I know, listen, there's a long way to go, but it does mean that they will have to score. They will have to score at least two to win this game of football now. And it's Bunda with the goal, not Mumba. My apologies. My apologies. First shot of the game... But it's gone in the back of the net. That's all that matters. Isn't it? Get in. Sorry, I'm just putting a tweet out. Big for sure. Coming up with the goods. Assist. Adam Forshaw with the assist, you absolute dancer. Locks will be in meltdown. He did say 3-1. Adam Forshaw now is a judge to have fouled him, I think. <laughs> Locks has text saying Enzo out. No worries. Apparently he can hear the game in the background. Cheers, Locks. I've turned it down. Thank you for that, my brother. Locky, sorry. Locks has... Lox has sent me a text saying uh, Enzo out. <laughs> He's funny, man. I love him. <laughs> Big foreshaw coming up with the goods, peep. That's what it's all about. Love it. Right, let's get to some of your comments, man. Oh, I've put oh, I've put the scoreboard on wrong. <laughs> Jewsbury Hall, strike, gone over. Sorry, I put the scoreboard on wrong. Everyone's reminding me. Sorry, I didn't have the chat on, man. Uh, scoreboard, scoreboard. I've sorted it, man. I've, sco I've sorted it. Look at the chat. <laughs> Sorry. We got there in the end. Mm. Listen, there is a long way to go. There is a hell of a long way, right? But remember, remember... They've now got to score at least two to get maximum points. You know? What? Bro, you don't come for professionalism, do you? If you, do, if you come for professionalism, Paco Matt, you've come to the wrong place. Everyone's going mad. <laughs> Joe wants Leicester to win. <laughs> I'm sorry I bloody made it. I made the mistake. No, I was too busy... Too busy um, celebrating the Adam Forshaw assist, man. That's all, and I was posting it all on Twitter. My apologies. I got giddy. I got giddy. Um, <laughs> someone said professional. It comes for the professionalism. Paco, Matt, man, you've been here. You've been here since day dot. Uh, Mooks24 with the super chat says, Joe, look at your score. Wrong way, pal. My apologies. I was too giddy. I was too giddy. Paco, Matt's been here. Since day dot, and he's calling me a pro, he knows, man. You know, he knows that. 
Need your shirt on tie. Yeah. <laughs> my suit and tie. In that uh, Justin Timberlake song, Laura. If I can get my suit and tie. Something like that. Um, dog's fart having an effect on Joe now, yeah. It had an effect on this game, I'm telling you. Still easy. Yeah, big, big up, man. Big up. Big up to you. Cross. Headed out. Leicester's falling apart against us, David Mallon. Maybe, maybe. Cross, Jewsbury Hall. Headed out, though, as far as Mavadidi. Into Wanks. Oh, it's well wide. You said this was not an easy game, Joe. I did, man, and I'm I'm grateful that you've come. I'm grateful that you've come and, 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 and mentioned it, bro, because, you know, I get a lot of hate when people go, you said we'd win this game. Um, this is true. Green Army. Green Army. Um, blueberry Cherry Cranberry. It's not the best, I can't lie. I'd love to wind him up. You, you are pretty good at it, Paco Mac. I can't lie to you. I'll give you that, mate. You are pretty good at it. Um, there are a few people that are, and they know which buttons to press, but that's all part of the game, isn't it? It's all part of the game. Uh, <laughs> listen, there's over a 1,000 people watching Big Up To You All, which is amazing. Friday night, Leicester getting beat. We love to see it. Um, there's only 332 likes, though, so if you could uh, smash a like on the video for me, it'd be greatly appreciated. Do not forget as well, we're heading toward 30,000, so don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the like button for me. It massively helps. I can't lie to you. Um, I want to get to 30k before the end of the season, you know? So if we could get there, it'd be great. Um, yeah, big up big up to Alfie, 17 tomorrow. Happy birthday, mate. Have a good one. Um, hopefully your parent, because I don't know if that's a man or a woman, um, has got you driving lessons or something. If they haven't, and I'm sorry to the parent there, what have you bought him for his 17th? But happy birthday, Alfie. Uh, for, for your 17th. Uh, yeah, please, heading toward 30k. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. As I say, it would be amazing to get there uh, before before the end of this season. Uh, Tommy Greenacre says, uh, keep it up, women, marching on together. Big up to you, my man. Thank you very much for being here. Agent Ancelotti, I love you as well, man. I love you as well. Um, smash the like and subscribe. Yeah, please do. St Leicester still odds on to win. It's understandable, bro. I can't lie to you. Like, they've been all over Plymouth. And I think a lot of the time, they tend to score goals late on as well. So, yeah, they, you know. Yeah. It, it, it wouldn't surprise me. But the positive thing we have to remember at this point, and there is still ages to go, they have to score at least two to win the game. So, th this is massive. Because if we get to half-time... Of course, they still, but they have to score two for it to have any sort of real impact. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, Clive, brilliant, wasn't it? Brilliant, my man, brilliant. Uh, he is in Diddy. 3 1 to the Foxes, say slow, steady, Steve. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, DFG, I said this though earlier when people were saying it was going to be a cricket score. I did say. Well, you've got to take your chances because we do this. We've done this. We've been doing this. Look at the look at the Sunderland game. We literally created nothing. I mean, Leicester have had a couple of opportunities, but you know, um, is it? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'll tell you, mate. Maths is my strong point. Uh, we're on twenty eight thousand three hundred and ninety six. So yeah, that's. 1,704, isn't it? Um, 1,704. It depends, Trevor. It depends, mate. Um, it depends if I've got it on or off. Um, if if there's not much going on, I'll turn it on. If there's stuff going on, I'll turn it off. Yeah. I, I prefer to have um, n natural. I remember someone before saying, Joe, we've scored. Look at the chat. Look at the chat after the fact. And I was like, why would I do that, though? Like, why Why do you want me to look at the chat? Because then it's not a true representation of what's going on. Do you know what I mean? 
1,604 there. Big up, big up. I will have a go, Mooks. What I'm going to have a bet on, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Big up. Yeah, big up. Um, that's that's true. Cossey at Huddersfield. Chef Wednesday um, as well, really. No. Did did say he wanted it? I can't remember. Did Ash say he wanted Plymouth to win? I can't remember. Yeah, for sure assist, man. Class, innit? Yeah, exactly, Anto. Genuine reactions is best of all. 100%. We can all remember that guy, Sonny, man, who reacted to Pascal Strauch getting injured, and it was so like, oh, my God, he's he's he put him in hospital, and you could tell it was just not real. Do you know what I mean? And you could tell it was, was not real, so, yeah. So there's going to be a change, I think, anyway, folks. We're probably going to see this goal again. He had them for sure. Um, it was, it was, it came out of nothing really, but Adam Forshaw, lovely little touch into Whitaker, and then Whitaker's return pass and Forshaw's assist beauty. He's got a lot to do though. He's got a lot to do as Bunda, and he just cuts inside, very, very Somerville-esque, very Somerville-esque. Uh, just puts it onto his right and uh, guides it into the corner. Hermanson, no chance. I mean, we'll take that, won't we, Stevie? If that's what we're doing, if that's what we're doing, we'll take it. Yeah, there is Andrew. You're right. Even in even in the lead space. But listen, I I don't. Sometimes I do it. It's not. I get it. You know, I get it. So these things happen, don't they? Oh no. Derelict building on Kirkgate has collapsed. Right next to the United we stand. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Love that. So he's gonna have to go off here. Is it So there's gonna be a sub, so Miller who's actually done alright, he's gonna have to go up. Um, uh, it wasn't for sure. Didn't score it, mate. He just got an assist. He just got an assist. Um, but don't Luke Ayling can't play against us, mate, because he's on loan, so he can't play. Neither can neither can Sam Greenwood. So don't worry about it. Um, is the dog snoring? Can you hear it, Timmy? You don't normally pick it up. Mm. He is. I'll turn down my mic a bit. So you can't hear him. <laughs> well, this is it, isn't it? Gammon slap. <laughs> um, it's pressure, mate. It's a different type of pressure. Um, you know, um, it's a different type of pressure, really, that you have to deal with. And obviously, what you've got to factor in as well is that Plymouth are in a are in a relegation dogfight. So you know, they they if they win this, they go up to sixteenth, man. Obviously played a game in uh, over Huddersfield, Wednesday, Stoke, Blackburn, Millwall, QPR, etc. But yeah, I think to play any team who's in a relegation battle away from home at the minute is solid. And that goes for us as well. Um, a lot of people will, what about Blackburn's position, etc., which I hear, but they're away from home. I think if you go if you go anywhere now, away from home in the championship at this time of year, it's gonna be it's gonna be rough. Gammon slap has to be nah mate, these there's better ones. Uh, I do like Gammon Slap, but there is better ones. Um, the Gipton Gimp's always a favourite of mine. Um, yeah, that's always a favourite of mine. Uh, no, they got... they. Yeah, uh, he's out of contract. He's Luke Haley, anyway. Anyway, there's a free kick here to come uh, from uh, Keenan Dewsbury Hall. In it comes. Headed out, though, by... Mumba, Bally Mumba, comes as far as Winks. Winks looking for Vestergaard and Fass. Fass on the end of it, but it's headed out. Comes out to Jewsby Hall. Jewsby Hall on the edge of the box, gives it to Mavadidi. Then again into Justin. Leicester dominating possession. Mavadidi's cross is poor. 
Oh, chance. Whitaker on the counter, potentially. Ah, it's a decent challenge in the end. Do you know what I will say? And Whitaker is very good. I'm not saying this. But every time I've seen Whitaker come up against top opposition, he ghosts. He goes missing. He went missing against Leeds on the four games we played them. Um, he, in other games I've seen Plymouth, he goes missing. I, against top sides anyway. That's my assessment of of Morgan Whitaker. He'd probably do better in a better side, etc. But but I think um, whenever I've seen him, he's he's been poor. Um, the lad who's gone off, mate, is uh, Miller. Miller, the fullback. Um, uh, <laughs> the uh, he's gone on. I'll tell you. Um, yeah, Mikel Miller is is the one who's who's come off. He was playing left wing back. Um, he's been changed for Joe Edwards, who's captain. So, yeah, that's been the one change thus far, mate. Let's go Plymouth, says to Milstead, Ipswich Town. Tell them. See, this is it, innit? This is where we normally, we all come together. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> today we can be Ipswich. We're okay. As long as Leicester lose, it's calm. It's calm. Um... Middlesbrough for you tomorrow, mate. How are you feeling? How are you feeling ahead of that? Oh, they want a penalty here. They want a penalty to Leicester. Dewsbury all get in the bin. Referee says no. Four shows having a word with the ref saying get away. Shut up. Uh, corn on the crob. Like that. Says Green Army. Definitely. Dewsbury diver. Maresca unhappy, but no show. Listen, if we can get this half time, we're happy. Green Army! And that's all I'll say. If we can get to half time with Leicester 1 0 down, that'll do us. And then they've got to score at least two. This is what we have to think about. At least two to get maximum points. Huge. You know, if I'm if I'm the coach of Plymouth, I'm say, they're already playing five at the back, but just play ten at the back. Fuck it. <laughs> um Ryan says this season's gone by so quick. We just be, we just appointed Big Sam this last this time last year, yeah, and that season went long, bro, didn't it? That went long. Um, don't forget, folks, if you are new, um, we've gained a lot of new f new followers over the last few weeks with the watch alongs and that of different teams. It means a lot if you could subscribe and uh, like the video as well. We're on the road to thirty thousand subscribers. Which should be amazing if we could we could achieve that. Um, twenty eight thousand three hundred and ninety seven we're currently on. But if you don't want to subscribe, at least like the video. It's a bit like paying your rent. Pay your rent, smash a like. That's the way. This is the way. Need Big Sam this year. No one needs Big Sam, do they? Fatua with the foul, so it's going to be a free kick. How's <laughs> Keenan Halifax P. Soul playing his day. Yeah, ghosting, mate, ghosting. Um, is there a video tonight, Joe? Was there a preview? There was a preview um, earlier on. I put out this morning. I think it was about half nine-ish, ten-ish. Um, I think before I headed out, I went on a nice little jaunt today with the dogs. We we got on the bus uh, and went for a went for a went up to concert. If anyone knows that, up that way anyway. Concert Stanley kind of way. Um, yeah. The northeast of northeast we went. Um so yeah, we went we went for a ride. Um Vamos Lester says Igor Santos. Uh yeah, previews out. We're also uh, doing a post match live after this with Lox. Um so yeah, that should be fun. That should be fun if it stays like this for sure. I think he'll be screaming uh, um out. Um he will be. Hang on. Oh, Ryan Hardy had a chance there. His touch was poor, though. Harry Winks trying to bring in the foul. Um, gets cleared. Here's Forshaw. I wish JB was playing as well. Go on, Adam. Love that, Adam. For sure. For sure. Ones and twos. 
Bunda with the strike. But I tell you what, when he's getting on the ball, this is we know what Adam can do. Look at this here. Nice little turn. So press resistant, attacks the space. One, two with Bunda, gives it him back. Bunda's strike is terrible. But Forshaw's knitting. Forshaw is everything Harry Winks isn't. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, you should have told me, Dave. I was there. I was there. Yeah, Donna, I watched a bit of it back. i just seen your tweet as well. That was pretty funny, to be fair. You had to fact check this. Uh, may the force be with you, someone says. Um, yeah, you had to fact check it because it was too good to be true. It is. It is when Farker's get, uh, Farker, when uh, Forshaw's getting assists. Yeah, up that way. Oh, oh Walls. Wayne Halifax. Unreal. Unreal. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong way, Joe. <laughs> Four minutes to half time, folks. Four minutes to half time. Yeah, every day, Jeff. Every day of the week. I told <laughs> the funny thing is actually, Locks reminded me of this. Locks reminded me that I said Dark or JB would have a better season than Harry Winks. I think it was Dark or JB, or it could have been Adam Forshaw. It genuinely could have been Adam Forshaw, so I'm not sure. Uh, no, Jacob, nah, man, 20, 20. I'll tell you why, right? Because someone contacted me and said, I've been having a think about an opportunity where we could create just Joe's vape juice, right? And I was down to about six milligram at the time, and I thought, well, if I'm going to be promoting my own juice, you know, it's 18 or 20, I need to be using it myself. So I went back up. That person never came through, and now I'm on 20, but yeah. People come with ideas and then just never hear off them again, unfortunately. But it is what it is. It's part of the um, it's part of the thing. Um, yeah, Dave, been playing Xbox. What you been playing, bro? Uh, Five hundred to hit the light. Leicester are losing. Big up Ollie's stale biscuits. <laughs> Love that. Um, that's a good name. Ballymumba tries to get round Fatawu. It's cleared. It's headed though, and then Forshaw just knocks it back to, um, what's his name now? Uh, Galloway, that's it. I thought that Dane Scarlett might have played more as well, um, who's on loan from um, from um, Spurs, isn't it? Is it Dane? No, Alfie Devine, sorry, that's wrong. Alfie Devine, yeah. Even that Ashley Phillips, why is that Ashley Phillips not playing? Because he was... But then again, this is where experience counts. This is what we're talking about. He's probably putting in the... Um, the older heads, if you like, do you know what I mean? Because um, he needs experience, relegation and all that sort of stuff. And, you know, the likes of Alfie Devine and, and, and Phillips, who was very good f against us, by the way, the centre-back. Uh, Dewsbury Hall tries to clip it forward. Keeper stops it going for a corner. Adam Forshaw with the vital block. Forshaw's putting in a barnstormer. Putting in a barnstormer. Whitaker is uh, terrible there. Uh, Come on, you green army. Uh, I don't know if they do, Dale. Who told you that? Who told you that, bro? Uh, I don't, mate. Um, I said a draw. Yeah, I'm not going to be speaking on that, Agent Ancelotti. Uh, I think Philip was due to start, but injured. Okay, he's on the bench. He's on the bench, isn't he? He's on the bench. Free kick, though. Should get us through to, to half time. Anyway, it's Plymouth Argyle here, free kick. Adam Forshaw stood over it. Forshaw, he's, go on, Adam Forshaw. Puts his hands in the air. He's going to be the one to take it as well. It's a shocker. It's a shocker. We put the curses on him, peeps. I don't know what the added time is. That's more like the Forshaw we know. Yeah. <laughs> um, Joe, if Plymouth lose and Ipswich and Leeds win tomorrow, do you think they're out of the race? Who? Plymouth. Plymouth are in no race, bro. <laughs> Plymouth are in no race. 
Do you mean Leicester? But no, they're not out of the race. They've got they've got um, four minutes at a time. There we go. No, no one's out of the race yet. The only team who's out of the race, who I can say safely, is Southampton. The rest are not out of the race. We win tomorrow, though. We do, trust me. Yeah, true, Dr. Cox. Um, Lydia says Plymouth to win 5-0. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Heading toward 30,000. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Yeah, don't forget to do that, folks. Um, <laughs> Leeds Blackburn tomorrow. Sammy Schmodix and Bamford on the vid there. Both will have a big part to play, no doubt. None more so than Paddy Bamford, who scores tomorrow. You heard it here first. Don't forget to smash a like. We've got over 500 likes. Let's keep that going, though. There's 1,100 people watching. Big up to you all. That's a... No, that's a Plymouth throw ref. It came off his heel. You massive cheb. Big up to Ray. Hope you're doing well. Um, according to me, though, it's only two, but you'll be slightly ahead, are you, Amy? Reckon Ipswich slip up tomorrow. Coventry and all the way aren't easy. They're not playing Coventry and all, are they? They're playing Middlesbrough tomorrow. Do you think he'll make changes? I think we'll see Connor Robertson and Willie Nonto start. But that's it. If you're expecting Bamford to be dropped, I can't see it. Can't see it. Um, that's just my opinion, though. I may be wrong, but I think Connor Robertson and Nonto will be ready to start. If not ready to start, you'll see them sooner than we have been. People say about his substitutions, and look, over the course of the season, he makes them the latest, I think. I think Phil Hay said that on the square ball, like, statistically, he makes them the latest. So I'm not trying to rewrite history here. But I think a lot of it of late has been due to circumstance because players are injured or are coming back. Um, free kick given away by, uh, sorry, corner given away by Mumba. Not the best. I think it was a bit of a deflection. Uh, they need to defend this, though. We don't want Leicester City getting a goal uh, just before half-time, do we? Seven corners for Leicester. Plymouth, none. They're pretty good at them as well compared to us anyway. That's a shite corner, though. Don't even beat first man. Cleared by Hardy. Come on, ref, blow your whistle, eh? And I want 48th, I think. Goes out wide to Dewsbury Hall. Dewsbury Hall then gives it back to Fatawu. Can't beat Mumba, though. And uh, it goes back to Ricardo Pereira. Ricardo Pereira... Top player, by the way. He's out of contract. He's someone I'd take. I tell you that. If Leicester didn't go up, I'd be all over it. I think he moves to Europe, though. Free kick given against Ndidi on Bunda. So that oh, he's going to get a yellow card as well. We'll take that. And Diddy gets a yellow card. Happy days. Happy days. <laughs> Ooh, that is a bad challenge, actually. He's come off the ground two-footed. Um, you don't know ball, Dalesy. <laughs> you don't know ball. If you think Ricardo Pereira is shit, then I, I, I have, uh, yeah, I have nothing to say. Um, I have nothing to say. He's probably the best right back in the division. Definitely. No, we're getting him on at full time. We've got a live post match reaction. LUFC loss. Um. So if I suggested Robertson Nonto start, then what changes? James has been great. Uh, you haven't been watching because James has not been great for four games. Um, definitely. So that a lot changes. Um, so, yeah, I agree with you on the grey midfield stuff. But, um, yeah, half time anyway, folks. Big up to the Pilgrims. Big up to the Green Army. Um, yeah. What's so good about him? Everything. What's not good about him, Dales? Uh? What's not good about him? I mean, completed it. It's mad, isn't it, to say that Ricardo Pereira is shit. He's low-key probably been um, their best player outside of Dewsbury Hall, I would argue. I think a lot of Leicester fans would say that. He's had a few injury problems, but he's been great and diddy's been great and to think that the R R ricardo pereira is levels above what we've got in them positions 100% well okay so by that logic then uh, nonto somerville rutter are all shit by that logic rodon and ampadu shit uh actually great shit um they're all shit if you think 
because a player's not in the Premier League right now, they're they're terrible. Then I, they, you know, what are we doing here? Um, you know, Keenan Jewsbury Hall, shit. They're all shit because they're not playing in the Premier League. It's madness. It's madness. Um, yeah, but we're not. We're talking now, though, right? And I would argue since the turn of the year, Nonto's been above James. Um, definitely. Um, he was. He was. He was great against us. Definitely. Um, Man United apparently are interested in him, to be honest. Um, yeah, JB says R Ricardo is arguably the best player in the league. Definitely up there, uh, I think. Um, definitely up there. Trevor, I became a Leeds fan. Um, just, I mean, my brother, my, my older brother Simon, my mum's boyfriend at the time, Craig, were Leeds fans. I'm from Halifax, best team in Yorkshire. And then it just started from there and snowballed and... Bought myself a season ticket, and yeah, it's in the blood, bro. Um, Jack C... Uh, the only way we win the league is if Leicester capitulate. At the minute, I'm just happy we're top two, although I did say we would win the league, but we've had a few poor performances, and I did think Leicester... But if Leicester were to lose this, especially after losing uh, uh, against Millwall, like, it's not looking good. It is not looking good. Um, so yeah, uh, turn the music off, Joe. I don't have any on. I don't have any on. Um, yes, Vic, big up Vic as well. Thank you for the other day. You know what I'm on about as well, Broski. Big up to you, my guy. Um, thank you for that. Um, still think Leicester will win. Plymouth giving too many chances away. Keevan, maybe. Yeah, listen, this is what I mean. They, they might. Um, but yeah, uh, look, at the end of the day, the positive thing is they've got to score two. We've, we've got to score two. So, yeah, that's the main thing. They have to score two to, to, to win the game. So, the longer it goes on at 1-0, it's like, do they have enough time for two? Do they have enough time for two? Um, maybe. Can uh, Leicester pull a comeback win? Pro probably, bro. Like, maybe. Um, <laughs> pick up the share, Ben, yeah. I think the waterlogged pitch at the minute. Um, no worries, Vic. Big up. Um, do you think Leicester are going to get that too? Potentially, bro. Potentially. They've been by far the better side. Let's not let's not beat around the bush. Uh, at the end of the day, I think, um, let's just have a look. Well, even just remember the, remembering the corner stats. So, I mean, XG, 0.22. So, like... Uh, Plymouth is 0.18, so not much difference there. But uh, Leicester have had 67% of the ball, six shots, only one on target though. Um, seven corners to 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 Plymouth's none. If we look at the uh, momentum graph, this will give you an idea of uh, for those that aren't watching the game how sort of one-way traffic it has been. You can see here, apart from the goal, um, I mean, even if you look at the goal, look where the goal is, right? There isn't even any momentum um, attributed to that goal. <laughs> if you can see that where the little green ball is, um, because literally it was sort of it went into Forshaw from a block and he just passed it straight away to to Bunda and he created the chance. But yeah, Plymouth had a bit at the end there where I think Forshaw had his free kick and stuff. But it has been all Leicester. Um, it has been all Leicester. Um, that's wild though. That's wild, bro. If you genuinely say that you would rather have James based on current form, um, but then take out Rutter and keep James on, bro. Come on, man. Nonto's arguably turn of the year being been been better than James. I think. No, I don't know. Um, Jay, the Leeds lad. Joe, take everything back. What I said about you, mate. They are bottling this. You are a lucky charm. Yeah. Locks just WhatsApp, mate. I think we save your locks. Yeah, do you do, do we not save you, bro? Do we not save you? Yeah, Matthew. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's been um, resolved, Matthew. Don't worry, bro. Um, do we do do we save you, locks, till half time or uh, till full time, or do you want to come on now? I was thinking we save you, bro. <laughs> I think we saved the meltdown. We saved the meltdown. Do you want to come on now? I'll get you on now. Let's get you on now. Let me send you this one. We'll still do the post-match. Uh, I'm going to send it you now, broskit. Uh, one second.
Because we might not... We'll get you We'll get you in meltdown mode now, won't we? Because you might come back. You might come back and then we won't get you on meltdown mode and we'll be... We'll be... Um, we'll have that taken away from me. <laughs> Here we go. Let me just put my headset in. Here we go. You heard the... Locks the goat, they're calling him. Talk to me, broski. Locks the goat, they're calling you in the chat. I'm feeling for you right now, Locks. Talk to me. We're finished, bro. <laughs> it's over. It's over. <laughs> no, it's, it's over. not, man. Yes, it, bro. Are you seeing what I'm seeing or what? Yeah, but you've created a lot. Well, not clear cut chances, but you've had shots. Come on, man. <laughs> it's fucking over, bro. This, it's done. <laughs> it's done. The season's done. It's not, Honestly, man. man. Yes, it is, bro. If I see a single Leeds or Ipswich fan going, ooh, it's getting no... Shut the fuck up. Honestly, you have got promotion. You've got promotion because we can't do a thing, mate. We can't do it. We are shocking. I'm fed up of it. Fed up? I'm fed up. What? So, so... <laughs> it's done. It's what? done. It's done. It's, it's, done. it's over. over though, is it? It, it's over, bro. Bro, you still mate, have a game in hand. Oh, wow. We have a game in hand where we go level with you. Like, come on. Like, I don't bro, care. We haven't even played yet, bro. I thought I was being negative by saying draw to Plymouth, draw to West Brom, lose to Southampton. It's worse than I even thought, mate. <laughs> we're we're going to lose to Plymouth. We're going to no, lose to man. Plymouth. Do you think I... what about Adam Forshaw getting the assist? Was it Adam Forshaw I said would be better than Harry Winks or Darko JB? Can you remember? Both of them. Oh, did I say both? <laughs> there you go then. Adam Forshaw proving it tonight. What, because he's got one assist? <laughs> yes. The assist master. <laughs> yeah, mate, it's all... I, I... Imagine I though, right? So... Let's imagine you lose this game and Ipswich and Leeds both win. Yeah, it's over. It's only two points and you'll have a game in hand on us. But we ain't beating West Brom and Southampton. Yeah, but you know the championship, it's a funny old game. Yeah, everyone beats us. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Pro, honestly. I'm actually Can I that. ask you a question? Yeah. Can you mathematically get the points uh, total anymore? Can the points we... record? We 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 could have equaled it if we beat if we beat Millwall and okay, then won okay. tonight. Dick, so can you? Is it? We can't. No, over? we can't. No. Okay. Just wanted to clarify that. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I'm to sorry. be fair, right, how, we how we did we change this, bro. Let me tell you something, there, bro. We we did actually break the record for points at Christmas. We'll have that, mate. St stick that in your oh. pipe and smoke it, mate. Is that anything? Yeah, man. Point, yeah, yeah. I, I just said the points record. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what can we do what, to change yeah, it? Um, what what really, needs to change? Um, if he gets on the blower to Pep in the next five minutes and gets Haaland down, mate, maybe. Apart from that, bro, I don't know, man. What if he goes um, to up top again? What, what if he, yeah, but he won't. He... he won't do it. If he does do it, it'll be the 90th minute, mate, and then it's too late anyway because he's a dumbass, mate. He's a knobhead. So I'm fed up of it. <laughs> I'm fed up of it all, bro. I'm, fed up, I'm literally fed up of it all. I am so fed up. Yeah. It is... Like, I don't know, man. Oh, I you've think be, you've, you've been massively on top. Like, even I know, obviously, the XG, and I know you, you're, not, you're like me, we're not massive on stats and all that sort of stuff. But if we look at the momentum graph, though, it's all it's all Leicester. Yeah, it is, mate. But, like, it's just that like, this is how this is how Leicester goes at the minute this is how this is how this yeah. is what we do this is what we do right we yeah. we dominate the ball we create average chances um and then we don't put them away and we uh and we concede goals like that on the transition um mm. it happened against millwall you know that was a transition and they they got a, a shot on from outside the box and went in you know same today it, it was it's literally like but like it is the epitome of of Leicester City this season, what happened for that first goal. Like, absolutely. And the fact that it's now 1-0 to them, it doesn't help us at all because now they're just going to... They are going to shut up shop. Sitting. It's what Millwall yeah, did. Yeah. It's what teams will do. Mm. They'll sit in. And we can't... We we can't play against a low block like this. Yeah, we managed to, you know, get a win against uh, Norwich. Um, but, you know, they weren't very good at all. And we got a bit no, lucky, to be in fair. That game, you know. They weren't in that game. Although you dominated, you were by far the better side, but they were not great, were they? Well, we've been the better side tonight, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean anything. It means nothing. 
Do you know what I mean? It means absolutely nothing. So I don't care what happens. You know, I don't care how we play as long as we win. Um, that's all I care about, which is why I was so gassed earlier in the season because we weren't even playing amazing then. But we were winning every goal, uh, every game. So, um, so yeah, it's it's rough, mate. You know, I, I want to see Tom Cannon on now. I want to see Tom Cannon on. I don't want to see that Pats and Dakar in a Leicester shit ever again. I know Where's that it Vardy? wasn't. Where's Vardy at? He's on the bench, but can you really see Jamie Vardy making much of a difference in the low block like this, mate? Not at all. Not at all. Yeah. Tom yeah. Cannon, he's, at least he's got. At least Tom Cannon's got a bit, a bit of physicality about him. You know, he's got a bit of physicality about him, and I, I trust him more right now in this team to score a goal than than Dakar. But, um, but yeah, man, it's yeah, yeah, it's uh, I don't know. Go I just on. I was having a chat in the earlier on. I don't know if you've seen it. There was uh, Dales. He said that um, said that that Ricardo Pereira's gash. What do you reckon? He's been one of your better players, no? He said what? He's he's rubbish. Pereira. Yeah, yeah. Who said this? <laughs> Dales, uh, Dales. Uh, he said he won't get. He won't Leeds. He'd be no no good at Leeds. He's rubbish. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> that the latest, that's the biggest load of tripe. You could have said that about anyone else in our team, and I would have probably agreed with you, mate. But no, nah, Ricardo is the most. Ricardo is one of the most important players, mate, in our team. Yeah. Like, yeah, a hundred percent. I can't believe I've just said that, but yeah, um, yeah. I don't know, mate. Um, yeah, indeed, he's all right, but you know, I know. Yeah, I don't know what to say, mate, about some of these players because they they just seem to be. I don't know, man. I saw I saw some Leeds fans saying that like the Leeds players were hiding a little bit um, in the in, in your most recent game, and um, you know, I, I I mean, I've said it before about Dewsbury Hall. I mean, I can't believe Dewsbury Hall's still on set pieces for for starters, mate. I mean, what the hell? I, I'm just I don't know what to say, bro. I'm I'm moaning about ten different things at once here because I'm I'm so frustrated. Um, there is no way we win, by the way. There is no way we I, win. I wouldn't say that. No, there is. No, there isn't. I'm telling you. I'm telling you there ain't. Why? Why? There, ain't. Why? there just ain't. We ain't good enough. We ain't good enough, bro. We ain't. Enzo's what, what? not got a ba- Enzo's not got enough about him as a manager to stop this, to stop the rot, to get us firing. You know, I know again, I know we we won two games on the trot against Norwich and Birmingham, but probably two of the worst performances yeah, of the season yeah. I've seen this season from them two teams. Um, West Brom up next as well. Exactly, mate. Can, yeah, we ain't, we ain't doing shit, man. We ain't doing shit. I, I, I wouldn't surprise me if we lose three on the trot. Four on the trot, no, sorry. Three like from now. We lost against Millwall. Three more. If we lose Plymouth, just... West Brom, Go Southampton. On. Ryan, man, I'm not about this life, man. I don't care, man. At the end of the day, we're having a bit of fun. It's YouTube. It's not real life. We've got to enjoy Lox's misery because at full time, they'll probably score three goals and win the no, three games and it'll be 3-1 and he'll, he'll come on. You know, it is what it is, man. I'm not about that life. Um, um, yeah, and you're going to need to change the thumbnail on your video. <laughs> <laughs> Something's going to change. Um, I it's says, man. Yeah, you think, yeah, I agree with yeah. our guest. If Leicester loses today, it's over. But that's a big. How can that be when they'd only be two points behind us with the game with the game in hand? Because we're not going to win the game in hand, and we're not going to win the we next two that. either. I... Fair. Yeah, I, I, I hear what you're that, saying. Man. There's no guarantees in football, all of that, but no. there is one guarantee, and that is Leicester will make it as hard as as possible for themselves. That is a guarantee, and. Um, this is the best name I've ever seen. Capitulation. Yeah, capitulation. City. Yeah, yeah. We're bottle jobs, bro. Yeah, we're bottle I'm, jobs. I'm, I'm stealing that. I'm stealing that, Brian. I'm having that. And can can I say one thing about this fraud, by the way? This uh, a bold. Uh, this pep fraud. Uh, fraud. Fraudiola. Right. Listen. So, <laughs> fraud. How can you sit there moaning about? Go on. I'm listening. I'm just got to get my drink. I was gonna say, how can you sit there moaning about, like the the schedule playing you know, only having a two day break after playing Millwall and then having to go down to Plymouth. How can you moan about all of that and moan about the welfare of the players when you then don't make barely any changes? Mm. You know, that's Klopp. That's Klopp behaviour, that is. That is that is Jurgen Klopp. And I hate Jurgen Klopp for that. So I hate Enzo Mareska now. Mm. But yeah. I need well, to go anyway to watch the game. Yeah, I need to go and watch us concede another two. So yeah, I'll see, <laughs> right. I'll see, I'll you, see in you at full minutes, time. Bro. You've got the link, can't you, for the other one? Yeah. Yes, mate. And change yeah. the thumbnail because you're gonna uh, need to. Bro. <laughs> I will do. I'll see you in a bit, man. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
I'm sorry, we're underway for the second half. He's fuming, but but he'll be back. He'll be back. Um, I think the look it is what it is. All I'm I'm genuinely not getting ahead of myself. By the way, I'm I'm enjoying it because Locks is my friend. It's like we're having a bit of banter. But I've said before, you know, they might still go on and win this game. But the, what I'm taking my confidence from now is the fact that they'll they'll have to score at least two to win the game. A points shit for the minute, so they'd have to score at least at least two. Um, so it good. Yeah, man, it's good. It's good. Uh, we've had our fallouts <laughs> over football matters. Best thing, best thing me and Locks did was come out of a WhatsApp group because <laughs> we used to we used to uh, go mad. What's the opposite of copium? I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, exactly, Dales. If people don't get banned or enjoying the moment, you've got to, aren't you? You've got to enjoy the moments. Otherwise, there's no point. Um, yeah, Jeff. Exactly, exactly. But right now. We don't feel that way, so enjoy it for what it is. Um, yeah, Rick Sanchez will win tomorrow, by the way. We'll win tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Hopium. Hopium, copium. No, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, listen, I'd take a draw. If you could give me a point now for Leicester and Plymouth, I'd take it. Because I think it'll all be Leicester from here on in. Like it was in the first half, so. We'll see, though, innit? We'll see. I don't know if there's been any changes. Let me double check. Um, no changes for the second half, Nat. No changes. Yeah, this is what happens, though, isn't it? This is what happens. This is what happens. Business end of the season. Um, just discovered. Yeah, I'll be live from 11.30. Uh, oh, yeah, much rather we go up with Leeds than Leicester. Big up to Jake, regular watcher. Big up to you. Ryan says, we will be there. We will be there. Um... Yeah, Dale's it. I'm not too sure if Switch will drop points. But what I will say, if this does stay like this and we win at lunchtime, we'll be top for a couple of hours at least. That's good. That's good. Um, yeah, that'll that'll be good. I think we will anyway. Let's have a look. Um, 87. Yeah, we'd be on 90, wouldn't we? Two points ahead of them. But they would still have a game in hand, so we can't get too giddy in that respect. But uh, no, that wasn't fans leaving up. Dewsbury Hall, good save. I think it was more than coming back to the seat. No, Ryan, they were coming back to the seat, I think. Um, yeah, listen, Leicester have four games left after this. Tomorrow we'll have three, man. Three games, you know. Um, QPR, Middlesbrough and Southampton. Whew. <laughs> it's going to be a mad season, peeps. Uh, it's going to go right to the wire. I thought it'd be done, but yeah, I was wrong. You're allowed to be wrong, though, aren't you? 28,402 subscribers, by the way. Big up to you all. Thank you for that, folks. 625 likes. Let's see if we can get 700. We're on the road to uh, 30k. I want to try get there before the end of the season, which is the 4th of May. It's going to be a tough task, but I think we can do it. Vestergaard complaining. Wants a yellow card for Hardy. Yeah, he's going to get one as well because he kicked the ball away. It's fair. I thought he got away with it, but... Listen, they're going to try them tactics, aren't they, Plymouth? They're not big. Listen, this is huge for Plymouth because obviously Plymouth, prior to this round of fixtures, was so close to the relegation. Let's have a look. Um, uh, let's have a look. So Plymouth would have been. They've got. They'd have been two points above the relegation zone. Win this, you know, they 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 then five. So so it's huge, really. So they're not going to give up the ghost anytime soon they'll defend for the lives he is hardy in the box for plymouth does he have a chance he pops it to foreshaw foreshaw out wide morgan Whitaker tries a strike takes a deflection off Dewsbury hall bunder can beat uh, referees give the free kick man no free kick there uh, potentially matty yeah like is what it is uh, player sport says as an ipswich fan leeds win the league with town play second hoping listen i'll take that every day of the week mate i can't lie I tell you what, it'd be some story if you did win the league, uh, Ipswich, though. I can't lie. It'd be amazing if you actually won the league. Yellow card, this time for Whitaker. Have a look. I think he's late on uh, Vest. Oh yeah, it's a crunching tackle on Vestergaard. He'd already released the ball. He's late. Now nah, he gets the ball. Ball a man though. Uh, 
Yellow card for Morgan Whitaker. I think this first time I've seen him involved, really. I'm just saying, like, he... Don't know. Don't know what he's all cracked up to be. Uh, Will cause white. Yeah, I'll be doing some summer content for it, for sure. Of course, we did do last time, so we will do, won't we? Um... Yeah, Kevin says if Leicester lose this, they'll be on 88, Ipswich 88 and Leeds 87 with all four games remaining. But we'll play tomorrow, won't they? But yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. But points over games in hand. Points over games in hand, though, every day of the week. I'd rather have points on the board. So um, if we can win win that, regardless, they still have a game in hand, but ultimately you need points on the board. And their game in hand is Southampton. Um, Yeah, big up, man. They go, love that. Please m make sure you like. Can you win? Um, says Mihalio. Um, who? Le I'm not Leicester, bro. Wait, it'll blue. I've Leeds. Leeds. But can Leeds win? The answer is yes. And we will win tomorrow. Don't worry. Heading towards 30k. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button, folks. Um, Justin with a foul in the back. Um, of. Yeah, it's a foul, is it? Is he giving it? Yeah. Has Justin got a card as well? I don't know. There's a few now. Forshaw's on one. Hardy's on one. Whitaker, Miller. What's going on at Leicester? Mavadidi's got one. Yeah, a lot of fouls for uh, for or a lot of yellows for Plymouth. I may add. Here is Ndidi. He's got Fatou in. Fatou is in behind. Cross. Oh, it's headed headed by Dan Scar. It'll be a corner ball to Leicester City. I maybe should have. Do you reckon I should get that rolling across the bottom? Maybe it might be a bit of an eyesore though. We'll give it a look. We'll give it a look. Corner ball to Leicester. Jewsbury Hall. Harry Winks comes away from Whitaker. Goes back to Fatawu. Fatawu pops it up there. It's headed out though. There's Justin. Justin tries to clip it up. And I tell you what, that is a vital, vital header by Dan Scar because had he not done that. And Diddy was coming in. If you have a look at this, it was popped back in there. I think it was Dakar actually, sorry, just in there. Look, Dakar's run the line fantastically well. But as I say, Dan Scar with a vital header that made it go uh, out of play. Because if he doesn't get that, then um, it, it, it was going to be put in by Dakar, I think. So. Foul by Edwards. On Justin. So he's going to get a ticking off, not not a card. It's about time he kept his cards in his pocket, isn't it? Let's be honest. What do we reckon, folks? Is that a little bit too much? Or do we do we not mind that? Going, going across the bottom? Let me know in the chat. Is that a little bit too much for folks? I can suppose. Um, which is a worst day at the beach? Plymouth or Skinny Grove? I've ne I've not been to neither. Where's Skinny Grove, bro? bro? Is that Grimsby? Near where you used to live, Gabe? I've not been to either, so I couldn't tell you. Um, that's all right, is it? I'll keep that there. Bit much, says Timmy. Yeah, maybe. I'll just do it every now and again. Um, I'll do it every now and again, maybe. I just want to make people aware I want to get to the 30k. Um, nah, not near Grimsby. Um, oh, it looks good. Would be better if it was just still and not scrolling. I can do that as well. Um, I think I can anyway. Let's have a look. Mm. Nah, that's too big, isn't it? I wonder if you can change it. Nah, you ain't good. I swear you can do a different kind of banner, though. Because there's that one. Yeah. Nah, it looks rubbish, that. I'll just pop it up in the chat every now and again. Here is uh, Fatou into Fass. Dakar's very deep there. Oh, Fatawu, Fatawu, Dakar! It's wide. Dakar is J Dakar is Patrick Bamford. Like what I mean by that is like, what, what, what? Like, <laughs> um, let's have a look. 
I love Bamford, you know this, but my point is, like, the way they feel about Dakar is the way Leeds fans feel about Bamford. If you go look at their Twitter and search Dakar, trust me. Um, Datrick Damford, exactly. <laughs> um, definitely. So where is Skinny Grove? Did anyone say? I don't know where it is. Did Gabe tell us? A bit down the course from Middlesbrough, is it? I used to live Middlesbrough way. Well, Stockton, which is... Oof. It's even worse. I don't know where Skinny Grove is. Uh, he's offside. Morgan Whitaker's miles offside, man. Um, I don't know where Skinny Grove is. I've been to some rough beaches, though, even in Sunderland. I can't lie to you. There is some rough... Some rough beaches. Because you used to be able to go from sea... Well, basically, you can go across the coast. And uh, I used to go jogging and that down. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Mad. Dakar. Dakar to Fatawu. Fatawu, will he cross it? Dewsbury Hall wants it on the edge. Back post, Mavadidi. It's not a bad knock, that. Mavadidi's headed it down to Winks. Brilliantly defended. That's a free kick, ref. Yeah. Jack Welsh, where do you live, bro? Stockton. You don't. I've been Cleefops, yeah. When I was younger, I've been to Cleefops, yeah. Nicholas... Belfilo says, please, Leicester win. For sure being unreal, he has a win. He has, he has. Any chan chances for at least times two? What do you mean, Magnum, Mops? What do you mean, Magnum? Talk to me. Joseph starts, you heard it here first. I don't think he will, bro. I don't mind him if he, if he does, by the way. Just let me say that. Because I think you can't have an opinion either way. Because if you if you if you back Bamford, it means you or equal or Leicester win. You mean Do, well? Uh, Morgan Whitaker cuts him from the left. He's got to get it to back post. Heavy touch by Forshaw though. It had to go into Edwards. If you look here, Ma Morgan Whitaker could have lifted it up over to Edwards who was coming in. Um, let's have a look here. Goes into Bunda. Um, Bundu gives it to. Oh, it was Bunda. Sorry, can you see the AER coming in, uh, Edwards? But, yeah. Ignore ignore me. They're no ball better than me. Yeah, no, look, he scored a lot. Don't He has scored a lot, bro. Don't get me wrong. I just... When I see him against top sides in this division, he ghosts. He doesn't... He, he, well, listen, we played him four times, and he never played well against Leeds. I think he might have got an assist in one of them, but outside of that... Oh, chance, Mavid... Mavididi, strike! Flashed across, and that's going to end up going for a throw. Wow. Very profligate in front of goal. Uh, this may come to cost. It, uh, Leicester, um, they have had now nine shots and just two on target. It's uh, Yeah, you've got to take your chances in this league. Like people were saying at the top of the show, this is going to be a cricket score. When I said at the time, if you don't take your chances, we know this all too well. And... Uh, yeah, it's proving to be. And and look, for me, the longer the game goes on, the better I feel. Because I, even now, I sit before you and still think Leicester might get something. But the longer the game goes on, the less points they can get because they'd have to score two. Do you know what I mean? This is the thing. They have to score at least two. If you look here, Plymouth have conceded 41 goals in the second half. Only Huddersfield and Rotherham have conceded more. So I do think Leicester might score. But... There's less chance of them getting two the longer the game goes on, you know what I mean? And a point, even if they get a point late on, I still can't grumble about that. Here's Mavadidi. Mavadidi up against Edwards. Pops it up towards the back post, but straight through. There we go. Millwall fan, there are even worse when they played us. They look like relegation candidates. That's from Dave. Millwall uh, beat them 1-0, remember? Um, there you go. You not saying keep the faith, Sly. Have you banged your head? The comments you've been put... Headed over by... When did he come in? When did Dennis Pratt come on? Dennis Pratt heads it over. If you're saying keep the faith, you've definitely banged your head or we've entered an ulterior universe because you've been the most negative of negativeness. So you must be feeling good, bro. You must be feeling good. Um, Dennis Pratt's come on the pitch. I'm not sure who for. I weren't even aware they'd made a change. Um, he's come on for Undiddy. 
And Diddy's a big loss, but and Diddy's on a yellow card, so there you go. When did that happen? Did that happen at half time? Let's have a look. Details. Let me look at the details. When did the change happen? Just 54. Ah, six minutes ago. Pressure, yeah. Coming down on me, running down on you. Don't ever stop. Uh, none, bro. I haven't had none. None. I haven't had a monster for about two weeks. Which I'm positive about. Genuinely, I haven't had a monster for about two weeks. I've got someone telling me off now, you see. <laughs> telling me I need to improve my eating habits and that, which I appreciate. Which is true, to be fair. So it's nice to have that. Yeah, anyway, looking off into the distance like that. Why? What is it? Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Uh, McKenna is the goat. Harrison, I can't disagree. He's uh, not the goat, but he's very good. He's very, very good. That's next, Samson. That's next. Promise you. That's next. Maybe, Simon. Let's hope. Let's hope. No, you're not, Jake. No, 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 no. Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough. If you look at the form table over the last five, you'll be very, very surprised because uh, it is... Uh, <laughs> it's bad. Um, oh, you are. How's that happened? You are. Eh? When did that happen? Jake, how did that happen? You are. <laughs> you are, dude. You weren't the other day. You weren't the other day. Wow. There you go, then. Uh, Ipswich first on 10. Preston second. Bristol City and Norwich all on 10. Then it's West Brom, Middlesbrough, Coventry, Leeds. So Leeds are eighth. I don't know how we've managed that either, to be fair. Um... There you go. After you draw against Watford, that's how rubbish the league's been the last five, then, isn't it? You get a draw and you somehow get top. Um, there you go. No, I, d I disagree. I think he's there's enough about him to, to see that he'll do well, I think. I think he'll do well. Uh, Bunders coming off the goal scorer. Uh, the goal scorer Bunders coming off. On comes Lewis Gibson. Gibson coming on. So he's coming on with some... I think he said four. I think he said four. I don't know. He said something. So he's come on with some instructions, which is good. Which is good. Um, he's come on and obviously they've got a plan. Uh, he's told a few players what the plan is. Maybe he said two banks of four. I don't know. With Hardy and Whitaker up top. Maybe he's gone 4 4 2. I'm not too sure. Um, Cause they know sacrifice. It's the simple love. <laughs> Gibson's a defender, says Terry. There you go then. Two banks of four, potentially. Yes, he was, mate. Yes, he was, Stuart. <laughs> Hold! Hold. Well, listen, mate, there's less than half an hour now. They've still got to score two goals for this to be a drastic, for this to be a great night for Leicester. Point's not good. They know this. Six at the back without the ball, says Mikey. Yeah, well, you're playing with the back five. Yeah, shout, mate. You know, you know, Tati calls it my strong point. I don't profess to know, you know, I watch. Oh, chance, but look, great defending. There we go. Galloway was defended stoutly. Exactly, Trevor. This is what I've been saying. That's what I've been saying. You keep asking me this. There's only one winner. It's a silly question in my eyes. It's Tyson. I know a lot of people will disagree with me, but I've said and maintained Tyson is the best boxer, heavyweight boxer in this modern era. No one can come close. <coughs> he's got the skills that pay the bills, and he's too quick for the big man that he is. And he'll dust up. He'll dust up Usyk. He'll he'll have the he's got the correct brain and tactics to deal with Usyk. He'll just lean on him. He'll just use. Oh, Jake, don't be silly, bro. Jake, I love you, bro, but come on, please, man. Oh, 
don't, lad. I can see you all saying it. You do. Is this the AJ that got beat by Andy Ruiz? Yeah? Is this this AJ you're on about? The AJ that got beaten, like, comfortably in two fights against Alexander Osik. This AJ. 18 stone, I'm heavy. That AJ. Come on, please. Let's not do this. Definitely not. Like, Tyson Fury is just too big. He's just too big for Usyk. And then, I hope we get it, though. AJ versus Fury is the biggest fight since forever. Like, imagine the numbers that will do. You put it on in the summer. Oh, England will just stand still and watch that. Everyone will watch that. Even the most casual of casuals will go to the pubs. They'll watch it. It will be amazing. Daka! <laughs> what is he doing? My God, did you see that Daka strike? He's onside. He's in acres of space. Oh, my God. How is that, Ibrahim? Based on what? You you actually realise that he's linear champion and not being beaten. I'm not, like, making this shit up, Ibrahim. What are you on about? Usyk's very good. Do, Jamie Vardy on for Dakar. I do not disagree. But don't don't underplay Fury's boxing skills. People forget what Fury did when he went to Klitschko's backyard. Backyard, where he was undefeated for over a decade. And beat him. The way that he did. Let's not forget this. Let's not forget that he, he he's beaten Deontay on three occasions. And Deontay was a killer at the time. Regardless of what, what you think of Deontay now... He was a killer at the time. Fury schools them all. And I'll tell you, and I'll remember, and, I, I, and I'll remind you all. I've got the tweets. I've got the tweets because people telling me, no, oh, you ain't got a clue. Exactly, gangster. Exactly. Dacker with his head in his hands. So you're basing it on AJ knocking out a UFC fighter. Come on. You think Fury took the guy serious? He didn't. He thought it was going to be a procession. He thought it was going to be a procession. AJ has better punching power. One thing I will say, Tyson Fury's punching power ain't all that. I was surprised that he knocked Deontay out, but Deontay's heart had gone when he eventually knocked him out. He normally just boxes people's heads off for... 12 rounds. His punching power isn't amazing compared to some heavyweight boxers. AJ has got that. But you, you can't hit what you can't see. Deontay proved that fact when he's beat him on three occasions. You cannot hit where you what you can't see. AJ will not be able to get close because he struggled against Usyk. He'll struggle against Fury. Fury will just boy Usyk off. Yes, Fury is 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 great boxer. But it, we're talking heavyweight here. No one, AJ tactics wrong on both occasions don't try fight him because you're not on his level fury is and and fury will just le fury will just lean on him and just use his m massive trust me trust me you don't have to trust me but trust me two three three he was robbed he was robbed in that first fight he was robbed in that. WrestleMania was goaded, mate. Yeah, there is a big game game on. We'll get back to it. I'm just I'm just telling people. Right. Twenty minutes left now. Yellow card for Vestergaard. You've got Whitaker over this free kick. Tries to pop it. Yeah, shite. Whitaker man, he's terrible. Ugh. No, I've not seen it, Gabe. I'll check it. Send it me over, bro. I've still not watched that Jim Cornette thing you sent me. I've just been working so much. I've barely watched it. i tell you what I did watch last night, though. Well, I watched 15 minutes of it before I slept. <laughs> um, I love... Oh, Forshaw's going off. He's gutted. But Forshaw's been great. He was gutted there, but obviously it's due to Forshaw's legs and all that. Hardy's going off. Hardy's barely touched the ball. I'll come back to that film in a sec. So Forshaw and Hardy going off, Wayne and Horton going on. Forshaw looked gutted, you know. Um, but it's probably due to, 
to, to do a minute. So you can see the coach has just said to him there, I think he said, come on, mate. Um, yeah, exactly, Ryan. I was saying that earlier about uh, Whitaker. He, ghost, he ghosts, man, against the better teams. Um, so what I was saying about the film, so what I... What I did the other day, I paid for the PlayStation... I say the other day, it was like last week or something. I paid for the PlayStation Premium, you know, where you can play all the games that you can just stream instead of buying them. They've got a great back catalogue. Here's a chance Morgan Whitaker cuts in. Strike, easy shot. Um, so so he, uh, I started playing the Resident Evil series again. I completed Resident Evil 2. On the, I was speaking about this with my mate because my mate played it as well, and we completed it at each other's house when we were young, and, you know, uh, big up Jordan, by the way. And um, I play it now, and um, we both were having a conversation the other day saying, how the feck did we complete this game when we were younger? Because it is genuinely difficult. <laughs> I'm playing it now, 36, and it's difficult. But do you remember the Resident Evil movie franchise? Shite, that woman and that, it was just shite. But there's a new one out on Amazon, which is basically Welcome to Raccoon City. I don't know if it's new, but it's based on Resident Evil 1 and 2 with the Valentine brother and sister and um, um, uh, Leon and all that sort of stuff on it. So the, the film, it's class. Yeah, yeah. So I've started watching that. Um, it's called Welcome to Raccoon City. Mavadidi in the box. Keenan Dewsbury Hall knocks it back to him. It's well defended. Whitaker sends it clear as well. That deflects off a fast, and that's probably going to be a throw-in to Plymouth. It's not Clash Joe, it's shite. What is? The film. Well, I was enjoying it. I, I was enjoying it. Do you think it's shit, bro? I enjoyed it, Dylan. Uh, timer's up here. You mean the film? Oh, I enjoyed it, Dylan. David Gray said, wow, he has to be in his 40s. Who? To be honest, Resident Evil 2 shits me up. Oh, I liked it, Dylan, man. Listen, sometimes you like shit films, though, don't you? Certain films out there that that's shit, The Fall, amazing to me. Best series of all time. Not many people have watched it, but I really liked The Shield, which was loosely based on, like, the Rampart scandal. Um, yeah. Oh, it's going to fall, Mavadini, team effort, team effort. But I really liked um, The Shield. Vin, Vin, Vinnie Mac? No. Yeah, he was called Vinnie Mac, which is WWE. Vincent Mac? I can't remember. Yeah, I was never a big fan of it. Yes, 8-8 eight, eight leads. Great. Yeah. I do like Dexter. If you've ever watched Dexter, brilliant, man. Especially season three. Season three of Dexter with the Trinity Killer. It's It's... It's unrivaled. Um, yeah. I've never seen Person of Interest. Never watched Walking Dead. Not for me. Dexter, amazing. Um, who else? Uh, what else do I, do I like? Um, what else is up there? Here's Jewsbury Hall on Halfway for Leicester. I'm trying to think. What non-footy YouTubers do you watch? I don't really, bro. The only thing is I watch on YouTube are football-related podcasts. I love Filthy Fellas. They're amazing. I love The Big Six. Obviously, Saeed TV's up there as well. I can't lie to you. I know he's a Man United fan, but he's a ledge. Makes me laugh. Um, I like Don uh, Hassam, Liverpool. Uh, this is football. More gender. Um, the Big Six is just gorgeous. I watch all their stuff if, if there's stuff on. Um, but Filthy Fellas is right up there. They're my main two. Filthy Fellas and Big Six. I really like them. Um, outside of football, Joe Rogan. Um, what else do I watch? A lot of wrestling. A lot of wrestling. Um, I watch a lot of wrestling stuff. Um, I can't wait for it to be on Netflix. Cannot wait for it to be on Netflix, by the way. 
Uh, Netflix 2025, all WWE comes over to Netflix. Um, Earl Head Honcho says, can you explain why Leicester needs to score two for points? I'm confused. No, 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 no. Um, what I meant is for them to get decent points. Of course, if they, if they get one, if they get a goal, great. Not Rogan. Why? Rogan's amazing. How can you say Rogan's not good? He has some great guests. I'd rather watch that than all that bloody diary of a C CEO and fecking... What's that other gadget? Jay Comfrey's in that fecking... What's it called? Oh, what's his stupid thing called? Can't remember. Are you allowed, Joe? I got called a troll on Leicester. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't like it up em, do they? Don't like it up em. Don't know who's going to drop into playoffs, but this li listen, there's 14 minutes left of this now. High performance, that's it. Shocking. Remember that? Remember that bloody... Um, just on this, by the way, Drew McIntyre wins the World Championship back. Why, what do you mean? I've just explained it head on, show. No, they only need to score one for a point, but a point's not good. A point's not good for Leicester. They need three. They've got West Brom next. They've got Coven... No, West Brom, Southampton. They need three, bro. Chance break. Go on, get it crossed, Edwards. What are you doing? Edwards was in acres. Oh, Whitaker. You absolute shambles. Why is he not crossed that to Joe Edwards? Look at this. He's onside as well. Watch this. Right, he's in. Look, look at Edwards, and he's giving it Whitaker. What is Whitaker doing there? Terrible. If Leicester lose today and we lose tomorrow, I'm done till the playoffs. Why we won't be in them? <laughs> Whitaker reeks. He does, don't we? We we we, we keep we saying that man. We keep saying it. We keep saying it. What's going on, mate? Well. Leicester are losing 1-0. Leicester are losing 1-0. Is that the Hydro, one of the finest castles in Scotland? There you go. Is that the chance Leicester needed to get? Maybe, maybe, maybe. What I will say is, I don't think Vardy misses the chances Dakar did. That's for sure. Don't forget, folks, smash a like. We're nearly at 1,000 likes. Um, please do smash a like on the video. Don't forget as well, if you're new here, Look at Enzo kicking off with fourth official. I'm not sure what for, but yeah, if you're new here, please subscribe. We're on the road to 30k. We want to get there before the end of the season. Um, yeah. Free kick to Plymouth. Twelve minutes, you know. Twelve minutes. This would be terrible. Like, if they lost this genuinely, right, if they did lose this, they'll have lost 1-0 to Millwall and 1-0 to Plymouth. Stinks. Reeks. It is bad. It is bad if that happens. I've just shut down my window as well. That was stupid. Sorry. Here's Harry Winks. Harry Winks into Dewsbury Hall. Dewsbury Hall loses the ball. And it's cleared up field by Edwards. Devine to Chase. Here's Vestergaard. Yannick. Listen, we've got 800 likes. Don't forget to smash a like on the video, folks. Oh, down the line. He's on. He's on. No, he's offside. I wish they'd get, watch the line. They're, they're really bad at it. They're really, really bad at it. What's he say? El Hancho, you're deaf or a troll. What's he saying? Is he still asking me about this two points thing? Where is he? Right. I think I've already explained it to you, Broske. Oh, we seem to have lost it. We seem to have lost it, folks. Sorry about this. 
Trigonometry is a decent podcast. I've never seen it, bro. I'll have to check it out. El Hancho, ask me again, though, and you're getting binned off, man. You're doing me tits. Um, big up Adam and Eve. Yeah, potentially. This is... Yeah, exactly, man. It is. It, it, it really puts a gap, doesn't it? Obviously, the Wednesday nights and that, I, I hear it. Um, Joe, how many screens you got? A few, bro. A few. Like that. It's like, uh, what's that What's that Star Trek ship called? It's like that. Don't forget to smash a like on the video, folks. We've got 815 likes. What a night this w could turn out to be for Ipswich and um, Ipswich and Leeds United if it was to stay like this. Real chance to, to, take, to take the impetus in the promotion race. Big foreshore with the assist as well, man. He had a great performance in the first half as well. I do feel though there could be a chance for Plymouth on the counter, and I'm not even I'm not even BSing you. Oh, Dennis Pratt gets it out to Fatawu. Nine minutes left, by the way. Fatawu. Ricardo Pereira on the edge to Vestergaard, the camped in now. Look at all them green shirts, though. You love to see it. Terrible by Vestergaard, but Dewsbury Hall's come away from it. It's good. Feet, don't let him shoot. Oh, he's given a penalty. Oh, I thought that was a penalty. How is that not a pen? Or did did Dewsbury all go down before? Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look. Oh, he's dived. You stinker. You absolute stinker. Look at him. He realises he's going to get back up, attacks the space and falls over. Uh, horrible. You horrible man, Dewsbury all. You horrible man. Horrible. Did you see that? He's he, he seen him go down. He thought, if I attack that space, I'm going down. I'm going down. Look, counter. Here we go. What's going on, Gabe? Is people giving... Don't be giving Gabe stick. Don't do what? Don't do what? Ooh, you horrible man. He was. Oh, you mean he's given a penalty? I put shits up your dinner. I genuinely thought it was a pen, but when you see it back, Dewsbury Hall's seen him on the deck and gone, right, I'm going to attack that space and go down. Here's Fatawu. Great challenge. And it comes up. Ah, it looked like it came off Fatawu. I can't lie. Oh, I can't lie to you, mate. Star Trek's not for me. Star Trek's not for me. I've tried. But I'm all about Star Wars. Shawnee, and you know what's going to happen, bro? You know what's going to happen? Your boy Bamford's going to score. Eww, brother. <laughs> Jews be hole with the corner. Headed out. Eww, brother. Eww. Uh, what was for dinner? I had a sausage egg. Sausage and egg butter. Beautiful, two of them. Not four, two. Uh, brother. Uh. Cross, cross. Headed out. Straight through to the keeper. Michael Cooper. Star Wars over Star Trek every day of the week. Be careful not to choke on your inspirations. I don't even know what that means, bro. No one is perfect, Joe. Star Trek is the single malt scotch of sci-fi and effort. <laughs> Come on, City, says Barry Anthony Wing. Oh, you're a Wednesday fan. Sorry, mate, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, bro. Um, there are only three SW fiends. Uh, Star Wars, no, Christopher. Uh, but the, uh, low key, low key, best Star Wars film, Rogue One. Uh, brother. Uh. Genuinely low-key best Star Wars. Here's Mavadidi. Mavadidi cuts in. Tries across. It's another corner. The worst the worse at corners than Leeds. How many corners have they had? Let's have a look. Vardy's complaining about summer. Your wife's a grass, bro. Dewsbury all with the cross. Cooper. Big punch. Big punch. Wow face. Winks. Ricardo Pereira. Fatawu. Cross by the Pratt, and Cooper keeps it in play, getting 
You love to see it. How many corners have they had? Let's have a look. Oh, brother. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I will stop. Standings. Let's check. No, we don't need to know the standings. We need to know the statistics. They have had 10 corners. 10 corners. 13 shots. Three on target. Pez oh, I can't say his name. I'm going to try it, though. Plegzawolu. Plegzawolu. Which actually sounds like a baddie in Star Wars. He's down with cramp. Take your time, bro. Leicester's remaining fixtures. West Brom, Southampton, Preston and Blackburn. Them three. West Brom, Saints and Preston. Oof. Oof. It's not looking good, brav. It's not looking good, brav. Castillo. Joe, I think you want mouth off Daniel James again, want him to score badly. I don't know what you're getting. Mate, I hope he scores. I hope he scores. I love Dan James. I love Dan James. Spooky fixtures, bro. Really spooky fixtures. Joe... If you were to recommend Star Wars to someone who's not seen any, what order were you telling them? I, for me, I think it's better to watch it in chronological order, for me. Which is starting with the second, the, 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 the second lot of three. Because you get to see Anakin turn into Darth. And that's, it all follows on, right? Like, I know they're not made in... But that's the way I do it. Because, yeah. See, that's... See, Gabe would do it the original way. Gabe's probably more of a sci-fi nut than me, but I think it's better to do... You know. Um, but I think it's better to do it in chronological order. Mate, you don't know what... You, listen, if it's not for... Some, type, some people it's not for, but... But... No. <coughs> no, Dylan. Rogue One comes before just comes be because Rogue One finishes when the when the Death Star plans get sent up from Rogue One they go to Leia right and then Leia is the star is the one oh it's Chance Vardy what a save Cooper what a save Cooper so Rogue One is in between them films because the the plans for the Death Star is what she gets from those that have done Rogue One. I'm right, people, right? I am right, I think. I am right, I think, anyway. Yeah. Oh, mate, Harry Potter is goated. Harry Potter's brilliant. Mavadidi, Dewsbury Hall, great block. Plymouth have defended for their lives, man. For their lives. Dylan, I am right, bro. I'm telling you now I'm right. Everyone says you're right except from you. Dylan, I am right. <laughs> That's it. Rogue One becomes before a new hope. 100%. Cross. Oh. Winks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's gone through. It's blocked. I haven't watched Iron Claw, mate, no. I haven't been to Harry Potter studio. I want to go. Definitely. I want to go. He's right. We move. <laughs> we are. Please. Um, no solos also in the... in the. Honestly, I promise you, I'm going to get it up for you now. Um... I'll show you. Um... It's best to get it on what's it what's it called? Um where all the games are. I forgot what it's called. Um <laughs> Oh, what's it actually called, man? The site where I normally get it off. Um So this is um this is on Radio Times. Sorry, I know it's proper nerdy right now, but um you can see here uh Episode 1, Phantom Menace, Tackle Clones, Clone Wars, Revenge of the Sith, Sto Star Wars, um, Rogue One, Look Before a New Hope. Here we go. Have you watched the Rebels and stuff? But yeah, 
I tell you, Lockie will be watching. IGN, I am Seb knows. Lockie will be watching. He'll be he'll be doing a nook because he's a massive Star Wars fan. But he knows as well. <laughs> Cross. Oh, five minutes at a time, you know. Yeah, Disney Plus have them all. Yeah, Owen, exactly. They actually have them all. Can we have a suck of the bird, suck of the bird, eh? suck of the bird? There you go, bro. <laughs> that's what he's. That's what he said, though, didn't he? He's getting sack of the board chants in Sevilla anyway. They hate him. Sack of the board, sack of the board, sack of the board. Huh? Huh? There you go. Free kick. Oh, it's been given the other way. Referee trying his best here. Wayne getting a yellow card for a foul on Winks. Four minutes left. Stevie, I can't play any songs live, bro. Unfortunately, because my thing will get get thing. Um. Jamie Forbes says, Leicester City playing a relegation threat inside and still having their best result of the day in the courtroom really is peak Leicester. <laughs> Pat Sandaka is the worst footballer I've ever seen, says Locks. This post-match reaction is going to be fun. IT crowd, the best comedy, yeah. IT crowd's up there, I can't lie to you. Keyboards is the greatest memory. Yeah, watching on Sky, bro, but yeah, 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 you're right. Um, do you remember when I got all them keyboards out? That's there's peak. Peak just jaw, that is, when I got the keyboards out. Yeah. So when is the game done? Sorry, mate. The game is done in three minutes, there or thereabouts, although I am slightly behind, so you'll know more than me. But it's 95. 95 minutes. Again, goal kick this time. Chat's off, folks. We're going to wait. Chat's off now. I cannot see what is going on. No diggity. No doubt. Don't forget, straight after this as well, we will have a live post-match reaction with your boy, Lachlan. Yeah? Lachlan. We will be hearing from Locks. 2,000 people watching, by the way. Big up to you all. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget, if you can, if you can do that for me, please... What the heck is that? Why has that just happened? Um, Don't forget to... Uh, Oh, ball over the top for Vardy to chase, but it is offside. Actually, a free kick's been given. Please do subscribe if you are now. Over 2,000 people watching, which is amazing. We do only have 904 likes, though, so if we could get the likes smashed, that'd be greatly appreciated. Please like the video for me. We're heading towards 30K. Don't forget to subscribe. All I just want to say as well, while there's 2,000 people here, Leicester fans watching, you know, because I know you're watching, right? Because my good friend Locks tells me, I've been clipped up again on Leicester Twitter. I don't get to see it because anyone tags me in it. I say, listen, don't tag me in that again because I don't need to see it. It's not good for me. But all those that are watching and, you know, clip me up out of context when you won a game and, I, you know, I'll say, oh, they've conceded and then say straight after, although I think they'll still get something. I just want to say to you, like, right here, right now, like... Clip this up, you motherfuckers! Nah, he's missed it again in the back post! Clip this up! Ah! <laughs> Do you know, like, at the end when, uh, when, when, when Conor McGregor goes, I just want to take this moment to apologise to absolutely fucking nobody! The double champ does what the f*** he wants! Well, I will say that the biggest bottle jobs deserve this yeah they deserve this you did you deserve it how's it go you deserve it capitulation city managed by fraudiola fraudiola yeah fraudiola capitulation city capitulation city love it big up to uh brian for that by the way Ryan says, Nonto for Rutter, Piro for Bamford tomorrow. Nah. Nonto for James. Um, Roberts for Kamara. I think will be the changes. Cross. Dewsbury Hall. There's 30 seconds left, people. Dewsbury Hall crossed in. Headed out. Cleared. Cleared. Capitulation City. Can they get one back? But even if they get a point now, it ain't much, is it? It ain't much. It ain't good enough. 
it ain't good enough. Heading towards 30,000 subscribers. Don't forget to smash a like on the video. A free kick has been given to Polymify Guile. We're on the 95th minute. Free kick. Or has it been given the other way? I'm not too sure. There he is. Fraudiola. Enzo. The bald fraud. Maresca. Capitulation City. Don't forget we're going to be live straight after this hearing from Locks as well. This should be fun. <laughs> Let's go. E five minutes. Come on, ref now. Like what's going on? Look at look at the Plymouth fans. They love it. Up oh, up it goes. Yes! Capitulation City in full swing. The final whistle have gone. Leicester have lost two out of two against Millwall. And to Polymify Guile, all I'll say is top two tranquillo. Tranquillo. Dewsbury Hall head in hands. You are gash. You are gash. Somerville's picking up that award. Bottles, in it? Bottlers, in it? Bottlers, isn't it? <laughs> Get in there! Green Army! Green Army! You love to see it, I can't lie. Still to do forget about that, Damar. We I will drink my own tea as if we lose tomorrow. It is what it is. Right now, at 10 o'clock, yeah, on Friday night, we will celebrate. We will celebrate. No, forget. Forget this. I don't care, Fred. I have no impact on tomorrow's game whatsoever. I will celebrate moments. Football is about celebrating moments. I implore you to do the same. Do the same. Enjoy it for what it is right now. Right now, Leicester City are capitulation city. 17 points. 17 points. Down to Nida. Gone. Gone. Millwall. Millwall, 1 0 Millwall. Plymouth, 1 0 Plymouth. Enjoy the moments. It is fleeting. Football is cyclical. The cycle is left or have lost tonight. We may lose tomorrow, but who cares? Because right now, I'm doing fine. And I'm feeling good. Do, do, do. Look at him in the huddle. Go on. Adam Forshaw with the assist. Get up there. Get up there. Green Army! That's all I'll say. Go on. Bye-bye, Capitulation City, Enzo Maresca in the mud. Locks, let's be having you. That's what they're saying. That's what we're, That's what they're telling me out here. Locks, let's be having you, they're saying. We might have to. I, I, I was supposed to change the, 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 the thumbnail, but I, I didn't have time. Didn't have time. It's got him smiling. <laughs> you say smiling. It's a bit of a dodgy smile, so let's go live. Listen. There is a redirect, yeah, there is a redirect set for a post-match reaction with our very own Leicester City fan, Locks, okay? As this one ends, smash a like on your way out, okay? But as this one ends, we're going to go live over to Locks, okay? Um, and we'll have a chat with Locks. So I'm going to end this now. That one's live, okay? So don't adjust your TV sets. Don't adjust your phones, don't adjust your radios, whatever you're watching on. I know you can't watch on the radio, but you hear what I'm saying. You don't need to adjust it. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Because what will happen is we'll go straight on over to the live post-match reaction where we're going to be joined by locks. Can't wait for it. We will be there.